Are you smoking your socks? Dr. Sexy Coco to make love to, to my brown I need, I need Dr. Dr. Sexy, Sexy Coco, Coco to, make to make love to me to my brown Dr. Sexy Coco to make love to my <laughs> round ball. I need Dr. Sexy Coco to make love to my round hole. Well, that's part of the uh, show forever now. Can't get away from that. How's everyone doing today? Hi. It's on the soundboard, just so you know. See? I need Dr. Sexy Coco to make love to my <laughs> round hole. I need Dr. Sexy Coco to make love to my round hole. How's everyone doing today? How's this? How is this? The audio. I need it for two people. We have a special guest showing up. Guess who it is? Did I see somebody already gifted memberships? Ankerfeld became a member. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. And then Shivmatic gifted one membership. Thank you. Appreciate you, dude. And then also Sire Sire Blade. Am I saying your name right? Gifted five memberships. All right. So tonight <clears throat> we are discussing. Wrestling. I wish it was Steve Austin. How's everyone doing tonight, first and foremost? Appreciate everybody hanging out with me on Saturday. Juicy Booch, thanks. As always, I just saw I just saw what you did there. Appreciate you. Love you. Love the way you move. Love the way you look. 
I mean, the way he looks is, I mean, it's slightly abnormal, but it is what it is. Let me get situated. So, since it's Austin 360, 316, not 360, that'd be weird. Juicy Booch, thank you, appreciate it. I see that that's delayed. Oh, no. So let me just say something that happened last night. Listen, Zalen, this is because of you. I need Dr. Sexy Coco to make love to my <laughs> round ball. I need Dr. Sexy Coco to make love to my round ball. <laughs> that's got to be the... That's got to be my favorite thing of all time. Let me know if I have to turn the mic up. If I'm sitting on this side, I probably do a little bit. Let's turn the mic up. Let me know if it's way too loud. Turning it up now. Wow, it's really low. Weird. Okay, well, now it's really loud, isn't it? Is that better? Testing, one, two. I, I don't know. I don't know anymore with these audio issues. Sounds good now? What just happened? Perfect. Since you asked, the C in my name is like a K and not an S. But otherwise, you have the rest correct. <laughs> what? <laughs> Since you asked, the C in my name is like a K. So your name is Kai Caius Blade? Caius Blade? Caius Blade. Okay, we sound good. So we have a special guest showing up. I don't know what his background is in wrestling. Listen, I've got the uh, drip. Just so you guys know out there, I got the drip. <clears throat> no. It's not RGT. It's somebody in real life. I'll give you a hint who's showing up. Ready? Are you smoking your socks? Now, living legend, Captain, what's up, Chris? Darth? RGT is not real. No, he's not a real man. So last night after I went to bed, you guys know that the balloon that was there popped on stream last night. So a lot... <laughs> I, I don't know how to say this. Last night at 5 in the morning, if you guys remember, I had that there. I had another balloon there. At 5 in the morning, the balloon popped. Alice, what's up? Mad. What's going on, Mad? The balloon popped at 5 in the morning while I was asleep. I had my earplugs in. I heard it. Boom. So this morning, just to give you guys an update, I had the psychic medium. The, the team of psychics showed up today. Tracy and I believe her name was Kathy. Uh, what no contact in the chat. You're fired. I'd love to do that. So they came in here and said some things to me that I do, I'm not really happy about. So she took a look at the photo and the video evidence that I have of it popping on screen, as you guys saw last night. And she says that she sees a very <laughs> tall man standing next to the balloons in shadow form. Right there. So, <laughs> she also says there's a few other things. So that's good. So it's basically the Slenderman. Slenderman is uh, in my house. So I got that to look forward to. Well, that's scary. Basically, the ghost from It Follows. So her and I are going to discuss when she's going to come on the show. She suggested we do a cleanse. Fresh nips. Smoke socks. <laughs> Thank you. I need Dr. Sexy Coco to make love to my <laughs> round ball. I need Dr. Sexy Coco to make love to my round ball. Are you smoking your socks? 
Thank you, Astro. Love playing with you last night. Appreciate you, man. Um, Sexy Coco is here. Shout out to Sexy Coco. Your song is now on the soundboard 24-7. So yeah, the psychic told me that there is... I don't know how else to say this. She said that there is there was a shadow man who had no legs, who was essentially six feet tall that burst those balloons. One on stream and one at five in the morning. So there's that. And then also she said there's a, there's a little boy that's hanging up in the attic. He just hangs out in the attic. A little boy in the corner. She also said there is an old lady. There's an old lady. And the best part is she also said that the church is on top of... Uh, Five dead bodies. So, congratulations. You blew it. You're fired. So, I uh, really look forward to that. So, the creepy kid in the attic thing has now become real. So, huge shout out to Ones, who's probably asleep in a, a vat of chili. Yeah, I stream in 1080p. I do not stream in 4K. I could probably try to stream in 4K, but I think this is pretty good. So, yeah. Chris W. in the chat says tax credit. I guess the, the scary ghost in the attic is now part of the lore of the show. Um, somebody asked if I recorded the video with Rich. We're doing it tomorrow. Yeah, I think 1080 is fine. So I'm going to start just naming you Q. So your name is Q-U-A-S-I. We're going to nickname you q -E. That's your new nickname, q -E. Kiwi also messaged me on, uh... Rahooka. Thank you, Woodens. As usual, Wooden says Rahooker. He, he said it every stream. So what's incredible is today we're going to see a lot of the memberships turning into red. Because it's been... Jay, where is she? I don't know what you're talking about. So... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Rich and I are recording the video tomorrow. We moved it to tomorrow. It was there was no time to do it today. So, Justin, are you smoking your socks? Oh, White Lando, you got that red Triforce. Justin should be here soon. He's bringing me a booster juice. I can move over slightly here. So today I want to discuss because it is Austin three sixteen day. I want to talk, where's the medium? Oh yeah, well, the medium was never supposed to, I said this like 16 times, the medium was coming in at the in the morning, we're, we're planning the show. So essentially what's gonna happen with the medium is she's gonna show up, do an investigation, and just as the investigation is ending, we're gonna go live for a, a Q and A and she could discuss what she saw here. So last night at five in the morning, a balloon popped this the last balloon so somehow a balloon popped while it was live and then also at five in the morning no big deal she came in she looked at the footage she said do you see that and i said i don't see that she's like i see a, a head some eyes a mouth she's like that's like a seven foot man now let me also say this she also said that i personally have entities like moths to a flame. I don't know what that means. So we're going to find out some more <laughs> during the ghost hunt stream. But based on what she said today, she also said something else that I'm not going to get into, which wasn't great. Oh, the police are here. There he is. Why do I hear whistling? I'm just a happy guy. What's up? What's shaking? Look, you got my booster juice. You know what? What's up? Look at the quality we're in. Pretty crazy, eh? Overhead lights. That's the new oh, light that showed up. Nice. So you're gonna have to. T so does he have to talk louder? Justin is here. Are you Hi, smoking your socks? <laughs> Not yet. Doom guy is here. Nice. Hello, everybody. How are we doing? Here's a straw for you there, handsome. Thank you. Oh, thank you. So, guys, let me know if the audio is too low. He speaks in a very low voice. 
The Mountie is here. The Man appears. Justin is here. Everyone's saying hi. I made the chat big because you're blind. So. I, I do appreciate that. Happy to see everybody. How's everybody today? What a day. Yep. I, uh... Now, wait. Wait. Guys, Justin doesn't know what happened yet. Do I need to lay down for this? Yeah, you might actually. Some weird shit's going on. Okay. I'm telling Justin live. I want to do this live because he doesn't know. Let me get comfortable here. Take my coat off. Yeah. You look like a... You look like an overweight You're pumpkin. making a video uh, with this, Rich. I, I, I why the guy doesn't deserve the validation. Draw a nice hue from your hair. If you look at that high quality, right? See well, that? look. Look at it. Yeah. It matches. Buddy, 100%. Actually, 100%. you know, I, I appreciate it. White Lando says take it off. Yeah. How much to wear the poo suit today? Buddy, if, this is like a 2% milk bag under here. but uh, No, you don't have access to those funds yet. Okay, so what did we just see here? Um... Enraged Gecko said, you're making a video with Rich? Question, why? The guy doesn't deserve the validation. At the end of the day, we just want to move on. I just want to move on What from are you it. telling me live? Is this about uh, no, Rich? No, it's, it's not about Rich. Okay. Well, I'll get to the Super Chats in a second, guys. Appreciate it. Uh, Enraged Gecko, thank you for the support, as always, man. And I'll, I'll explain the Rich thing after. But So, Justin and I go to... <laughs> yeah, he did call me talentless. Um, what? Yeah, Rich called me talentless at one point. Me of all people with no talent. <laughs> um, here's what's the deal. And I'm telling him live. He doesn't know this, guys. Let's, let's take a moment so he can take this all in. You know how we went to the house and you made a joke? Oh, something's going to come back with you. To the farm? Yeah. Wow. You know, we kept going. So, <laughs> right behind you on that black thing. I've had balloons hanging there. What should I do if suspected okay. for DUI, but I'm sober? <laughs> Shivmatic says, what should he do if he's suspe sus suspected for a DUI, but he's sober? He gets suspected for one. What does that mean? So it, it either they have driving evidence. Uh, here in Canada, there's a couple different things that can happen if they have driving evidence. Uh, so let's say you get single car and being hypothetical, but single car weaving all over the place enough that it draws your attention to the vehicle then you approach the vehicle and the person has an odor of alcohol and you believe that they're intoxicated and that their ability to operate the motor vehicle is intoxicated that's one thing or let's say that the police set up a, a ride program and then they stop a car and they don't have any driving evidence but then they no notice an odor of alcohol they can read a roadside demand and you have to submit to a roadside there you go i have no idea what he just said I'm going to show him the video of what happened live yesterday. So I was live. Right. This is Wait, real footage. You make ghost thirsty? Am I going to hear it or you just And they your, follow you? In your headphones. Hang on. Swiggity swooty. Let me get some of that poo booty. <laughs> what? Zaylin's gone nuts again. Thank you, Zaylin. What do you say? Wait. You make a ghost thirsty and they follow you? Ghost. Ghost host. I, I forgot that you could do that voice. Hang on, let me show him the video and then I'll get to the super chats. So, while I was streaming two days ago, there was balloons hanging there. Okay. As I was streaming, there's footage of it. They move on their own. Could okay. it just be wind? Maybe. Yeah. That I mean, there's circulation. It could just be that. I swear on our friendship. Okay. Like I, sh I swear on you and your brother's wife that I had nothing. Whoa. Yeah, no, you're not necessarily talentless, no, listen, but only appear talentless when compared to the unbridled Are animal sexual on, energy of my proctologist, Doctor Sexy Kogo. <laughs> Thank you, man. Darth, I appreciate the uh, compliments. So, I swear, I swear, in my mom's life, your life, everyone. This happened live. I had nothing to do with it. Okay. Watch this. He's watching it. Watch the balloon. Live. Mm -hmm. There's a bug or something flying around me, but watch. Watch. <laughs> <laughs> Explain that one, buddy. That's awesome. Now, here, here it is in slow motion. Sorry, I'm not 
Here, I'll show it to you guys as well. Here it is in slow motion. Watch. Top left. Look. Ready? Yep. It just goes. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. And watch my reaction to it. Guys, this, this happened last night. Let's watch it one more time. It scared the shit out of me. Like, I'm just sitting here. I'm like, la, la, la. Ladybug lands on me. Then watch. See, it's subtly moved there. It's moving slightly. Look, look, it's moving. And then all of a sudden, it's moving. And... Yeah. Now. Crazy. Now listen to this. I had a psychic here tonight. Oh, wait, wait. Let me finish the story. Hypoglycemia, low blood sugar, can mimic the symptoms of alcohol intoxication. That's true. That is true. I didn't. I don't hear any any of that. Yeah, you're not gonna hear any of it. I'll I'll do this. Maybe you can hear. At five in the morning, at the end of the stream, I put one more balloon. I went to bed. I had my earplugs in. At five in the morning, it popped the second balloon. Just sitting right in that net. Wasn't even moving. So it's got to be something in the net or something that's... No, it's just... And the balloons are right there on the shelf. Right to your right. Yeah, there's got to be something. There's a strand of your hair maybe that... Uh... How can two balloons pop yeah. in five hours? Got to be touching something. I don't know. So a psychic came in. Tracy the psychic. Right. Was here at 11. You want to know what you said? Jay, you passed this somewhere. Hang on. Who hey, is it? FBI, open up! Oh shit, Jay, I don't have a license for a penis this big. You gotta hang it in your desk. You'll never take me alive, coppers. What? I'm <laughs> Why? Why is Kanye West having a shootout with the FBI in my chat? Jay, you cheap bastard. But just in his own headphones, enter my cave and explore deep inside. <laughs> Don't listen to what that was. I, I agree with the headphone thing, for sure. Yeah, the stream's off the rails already. So we're going to talk about wrestling today at some point. Did you ever get into wrestling? Body, 100%. WWE? Abs WWF. I'm dating myself. There you go. That's why I asked him. So we are going to discuss that. Let me actually move the camera down a little. Here, you should be able to hear this when it plays. So, hey Jessica. Yeah, I got to I'll I'll get him I'll get him some headphones, guys. So the psychic, let me move the camera down slightly. So the psychic shows up today, right? And she says, and I quote, "Oh, you don't see that?" And I say, "See what?" And she goes, "Oh, in the footage there's this there's a subtle outline of a tall man holding the balloons. <laughs> I'm like, will you move over? What is this? Just getting police, police brutality. No, you ain't seen nothing yet. So anyway, she said that there's a, a little boy in the attic. Mm -hmm. There's a tall man here who she thinks is the priest that used to be in this church. And then there's an old lady that's smoking. Just raw. She, as she came in the apartment, she started to go... <coughs> And she went, sorry. I swear to God. She's coming on the show. Hey, do you want to come for Ghost Hunt Night? Makes my penis burst all the cameras on Wait, wait. I got to do it again. Astro, thank you, man. Touch my man, I sense walk my soft makes my penis burst. He has no idea. I'm on the of ice so basically now when they donate, they can make it sing, they can make it do all this stuff. As you could see already the supports Oh by the way. Last time you were here, we were around like 600 members. Right. Last night, we went to 11, 11 and 
like 1111 or something. 1,100. So, Great. guys, thank you so much for that, by the way. Turn down the volume 15%, John Rome says. On what? On the main mic? I'll move the mic back so that way we could just both talk and do it. Justin, can you clear up the stuff that you've heard about Toronto Police telling people to leave their keys at the front door? So I will address that. Um, I saw the uh, a feed on a social media platform about that. I don't know if there's truth to that. I would be surprised if there is. If you think about it from a liability standpoint, if we as police told you to do that and then someone went in your house and something bad happened. So... I would be surprised, very surprised. However, um, if you don't have, you know, one of the Faraday bags or whatever they call them, get them because this is what's happening. So there's a lot of theft and they target. Basically, what will happen is, is they will put a tracker on your vehicle. So they'll hit places like large shopping malls, airports, whatever, see a vehicle that they like put a tracker on it, follow that vehicle back to the, the house, and then they'll go back that uh, later and steal the vehicle. Ah. <clears throat> they do it by intercepting, either getting key fobs, they'll do uh, entries to get the key fobs, or they'll intercept the signal and reprogram the vehicle. So, oh, yeah. There's a lot of that going around with that, that little yeah. device. But as far as just to answer uh, White Lando's question, um, I, I don't know how much I believe that that could have been somebody making that that up digitally. I don't think that they would put a tweet out like that. That would that would surprise me. Troll McTrollson. Oh God, this is gonna be here it comes. Do you still have burst in oven? Can you spam it? No, I do I have burst in the oven? I, I don't have burst in the oven anymore. I, I did upload this new one here. So I want you to hear this song. Put that on for a sec. You need a new set of headphones for crying out loud. Yeah, I know. Ready? Yep. I need Dr. Sexy Coco to make love to my <laughs> round hole. I need Dr. Sexy Coco to make love to my round hole. Well, I mean, it, it does have some rhythm to it. I Listen, mean, I start singing to it too. Right. It's one of the best things that. So Zaylin in the chat made that song up. I don't know why. Um, I think we broke Streamlabs again as usual because they're all delayed. So, um, Enraged Gecko said this: low blood sugar can mimic symptoms of alcohol. All right. So let let's talk about that for a minute. Uh, okay. That's very important to note, um, and that's one of the things I've, been, I've seen a couple like that before where we went, uh, somebody was on a major serious highway, we're getting calls like crazy, there's an impaired driver, this individual hit the, the, the median, they hit the other side, so it's giving off all the symptoms of impaired driving. Then when we, we finally get the vehicle stopped, uh, go up to the window, classic signs of impairment. J sack a big fat no deep in song so right format. Away, Just saying thinking, trying okay, it out your is hole. This person medically clear, so you look for things like alert bracelets and stuff, and that's how we found out. True story. Low blood sugar. Yep. Seen it more than once. Troll McTrollson, you have to put if you want that to be a song, you have to put uh, dramatic beforehand. Um, master shot says, um, yeah, I don't have the burst in the oven anymore. I apologize for that. We've replaced it with the song. And are you smoking your socks? I think Astro zombies should play one more time. Oh, here comes another one. Oh God. What the fuck was that? I guess she answered my question. Oh, my God. Never yeah. Drive a Subaru in England. Gone in 60 seconds. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, I worry about my truck. I have a, a truck that's on the steel list. And I worry about it all the time to the point where I'm going to Europe on uh, Monday. And I won't take my vehicle to the airport. So I'll have uh, someone drive me there. Cause, just because I don't want to come back and it to be gone.
Juicy Booch, what's up? Ghost Rat, nice to see you. Roman Victor. So everybody in the chat that's green right. is a member. Cool. So what happened was Zalen, Ones, um, Viper Eyes. Who else was crazy yesterday? CMS. CM, was it CMS or CMI? Gifted 50 members. You know how crazy that is? Yeah, that's wild. Um, how do I feel about being immortalized on the soundboard? Hulk Hogan's giant tape. I remember you from last time, but I can answer that. It's uh, you kind of get used to it. When I was a police officer in another major city, one time I, you know, as jokes, sometimes we would hand out each other's business card, and that's back in the day of business cards. And someone handed my business card out, and there was a person that uh, copied my identity and would call me into work sick, and uh, so the dispatchers made a, a big a tape. Believe it or not, that I'm dating myself, but a tape of all of my call-ins and uh i would call in sick about once a week and then they'd have to phone my real number at home and say are you sick or, or was that your alter ego that called uh called in so i had somebody impersonating me for a little while that's weird so i'm just kind of used to it kaius blade gifted one membership there thank you so much and it went to dave thompson dave thompson oh, that's my i think dave thompson's our dave the volume for you hey mate Woof. I think the gift went to Dave. Did it? Yeah, but he's probably subscribed. He doesn't want to watch. Oh. Yeah, your volume is really low, Jay. Which volume? Out of the microphone? Volume for you, Jay. I'm finding very low. Okay, we'll turn it up more. It keeps changing. Okay, like now. How is it now? It must be blasted. You know, you guys... There. Is that better, guys? Okay, that's much better. Can you talk for a second? Check one, two. Okay, good. We're good. Yeah, I, I turned down the notification song. Thank you, Synthwave. Appreciate you. So, today is Austin 316 day. Right. So, let's start talking about some of that stuff for a okay. second. So, we're dating ourselves here. Yes. How, have you been to any WWF I events? Did. I did. See, this is going to be great. So I let's did. start Let's start with you because I'm sure you got into wrestling before I did. Just because I'm old? Just say it. Yeah, just because you're older. Right. I mean, way, like way older than mm -mm. me. So I was born in 81. Right. Omni wants to know if we're dating. Uh, he couldn't afford me. Uh, no, I, I don't have a compressor on. I got to phone Phil. Phil's going to help me set that up. By the way, let me just say this. There's like a slight possibility that Phil's coming on the show. Very. I'm not going to get into it right now, but there's like a small possibility that Dark Side Phil is coming on this show. Nav3N. I just want to say thank you. I'm going through the worst time of my life, man. My wife of 16 separating yeah. brother i went through it myself um actually eight, yeah, after I'm... 18 years so you know we try not to get too personal on the, on the threads and stuff but what i will tell you is it will get better uh it is a storm that you got to sail through and but it is it will get better for you so keep your head on straight it'll get better brother yeah man i i've never been with somebody that long to really say anything you know yeah listen to him true story it is a rough road but it will get better brother all the best to you and again I, yeah i can't confirm dsp is coming on the show and it's not going to be an interview it's just like a hangout i'd love to have him on here and just talk to him from like an actual human to human situation rather than just be like Phil, did you do this? Did you do that? So there's like, there's a slight possibility Phil's going to come on the show and just hang out and talk about video games and what he's into and stuff. And I'm not doing it to troll him for, yeah, I mean, I just want to talk to Phil because at this point in time, I think he's absolutely interesting, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see if he comes on the show. So who's your favorite wrestler back in the day? Okay, well, let's get into wrestling. So... Um, and also, like I said, I want you guys to be, uh, you know, 
entertained on the show here. You know, I, I would never have I'd never have somebody on the show and just yell at them or Why was the horse so good at math? Because he was a stable genius. Oh brother. Do you read that? I did. Hulk Hogan's Giant Taints has some of the best dad jokes you've ever heard in your life. So I know a lot of people. How many people are here right now? 300 or something? Almost to 300. Um, if you guys could like the stream and all that stuff and, and, and call your mom to get on here, I'd appreciate that too. Also, huge thank you to everybody that's watching and sending in the memberships. Let's do a membership update here and just to see where we're at. Because I haven't checked since last night, and YouTube is super delayed when it comes to saying how many members we're at. So let's just check that super quick. We are, are you ready for this? Yeah. It's crazy. We're at 1,128 members. Sweet. It is absolutely insane. So thank you, guys. Basically, everybody watching. Well, <clears throat> Kyrus Blade just gifted five more. Thank you, man. You know what's crazy about you gifting those? Terrence. Who was? <laughs> Terrence still doesn't have a membership. There's one guy in the chat named Terrence. Right. And when you gift the memberships, they go to different people in the chat, right? Right. Terrence still doesn't have one. The Bubster says you deserve it, Jay. Thanks so much, man. I really appreciate that. Yeah, I don't know why Terrence doesn't get it. Who was? Also, I tried to get Terrence to send me his PayPal. But he wouldn't do that either. He's being stubborn. So there's that. So let's get into the wrestling discussion now. So I was born in 81. We won't say you. What, 1902? 72. 72, 81. So you've got a good eight years on me in terms of wrestling. So Wait a minute. Say, okay, say that again. Nine years. Okay. You were That's nine fun. when I was born. So, Gabe, maybe that is it. So when it comes to wrestling, right. how were you first introduced to it? Were you How young were you? Yeah, I want to say, so the earliest memories are, are probably like significant memories are um, the main event series. So Saturday night's main event. Uh, I went to one of those at Maple Leaf Gardens. So I did, I don't know if it was a main event, but definitely saw all the big players, Hulk Hogan. I uh, was in a cage match against Kamala, and the British Bulldogs were there, Andre the Giant, all of them. So it was phenomenal oh, yeah. to see it. And uh, So I caught the tail end of that main crazy. event stuff. Dude, that's crazy that you were there for that. Yep, awesome. Um, and again, I always said that if I could meet one person, and I mean, I know he wasn't a dynamic wrestler, and but it would be Hulk Hogan, just because he was very influential. You know, he told the line, very, very, very influential. Um, again, not the most skilled guy, but he gave a lot to the business. Um, and I always said that if I got the chance, I would love to shake the guy's hand. Um, I actually tweeted him, and uh, I'm not a huge guy on social media, but I just was learning Twitter back in the day. And I tweeted him and tweeted him, and I'd just always say, Justin from Canada, Justin from Canada. And then one day he tweeted me back. And I was, I was like, that's it. Did he? What did he, what did he say? I, I always I had to just tweet simple. Hey, Halter, have a great day, Justin from Canada. And finally, tweeted back, Hey, Justin, you too, my brother, or something like that. See that? That it. that, that makes awesome. you feel so good. Buddy was great. I mean, that, that just the power of, you know, of social. Oh, media. here we go. Here we go. This is gonna be good. <coughs> is it gonna play it? Waiting. Astro, you're fired. Congratulations. Thanks, man. Skip Skipperson, what's going on? Akari, Genesis, what's up? Rich, what's up in the chat? Ones. Zaylin has basically, Zaylin started this. So I appreciate the support. If you guys want to use the TTS, there's a, a link, but it's not below because I forgot to put it there. So you blew, you blew it. it. You blew it. Congratulations. Did, uh, did everybody else, like I find these new shows on A&E with regards to the history of 
WWF, WWE, some of them are absolutely fascinating. Like, oh, they're amazing. Last year there was a series on uh, like lost artifacts from the WWF, yep. and they I went saw around. that Mick Foley looked for his jack. Um, uh, unbelievable. Mick Foley was looking for one of his socks, and yep. Brett the Hitman Hart found one of Rick his. Ric Flair, the the one jacket that he was looking for, um, just unbelievable to to see all that stuff. And I mean, you if you watch Hulk Hogan now, somebody was just mentioned that he's born again and uh, Christian, but if you watch him speaking a lot of these he's actually very articulate about it and the guy is honestly lucky to be alive still yeah i don't uh, know based on everything he's put his body yeah through. very i mean look at the wrestlers that we have lost over the over the years um crazy like i was a huge british bulldogs guy because my my twin brother and i obviously um but but we huge british Bull, bulldogs guy i mean when you look at the dynamite kid and what he went through, and apparently the guy was just an asshole, to be honest with you, um, and very difficult to work with. But then Davy Boy, you know, just thunders in. For, you know, he was married into the Hart family, and then thunders in, and like they just to keep that pace up, and, and they get into the drugs and stuff. It's it's very very sad. Same well, as the he, Ultimate Warrior, White Lando. Uh, but let's talk about the '80s because <clears throat> the '80s was like the boom of the drug use. Mm -hmm. Ultimate Warrior, Macho Man, Hulk Hogan. Yep. You're telling me that they didn't take anything? Like, let's get real here. Buddy, I mean, it, it's, you know, you look at the size of them and stuff, um, and, but then you look what they put their bodies through, but how many of them suffer catastrophic cardiac episodes? Do you know well, look I mean? at look at Macho Jake, man Jake and, the Snake, man. Yeah, he's hurting. But he's, he's come around a little bit. You see the work that um, Diamond Dallas Page does for people. Oh, that's uh, always... Dude, watching the, the documentaries out there... It's what's crazy is like, oh, here we go. What is this one? Troll McTrollson. <laughs> You're you fired. Congratulations. Troll McTrollson. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. This. So they figured out how to make the donations sing. So every one of them is now the song. But I mean, nothing will ever beat Zalens. Maybe somebody will beat Zalens, but holy shit. Um, so let's just see. Somebody said Justin. It hasn't come through here yet. Here you go. Justin, check out the dark Justin, side of the ring. Yeah, so check out I, dark on, side of the ring. You probably did with like Chris Benoit. There was an yep. episode on, there was a few really... You know, let, let's just talk about this for a second. So first, let me talk about how I got into wrestling. You know, I, I never had a father, father, I sound Irish there. I never had a father growing up. Right. So my mom would put wrestling on, right? Oh God, here we go. Creepy ass kid just donated. Ew, ew. Hulk Hogan is awesome. <laughs> he even had a TV show called Thunder in Paradise. Yeah, I kind of remember that, to be honest with you. Thank you, creepy ass kid. Do you remember that show? I do. Yeah, a little bit. Yep. I don't remember that one, he man. He toyed around with some some like B class movies and and TV shows, and I remember that. And then of course he got the big the big hit from uh, from the Rocky series. If you guys haven't seen Diamond Dallas Page, watch him. And and uh, there was an old fighter, a big brawler named Butterbean. Oh yeah, they're doing and, it again. Yeah. So he he I mean he was a menace. You watch him and then. Now you you Butterbean went through the DDP program and he's just made an amazing comeback. So so kudos. I I think a lot of people could probably relate to this. So my mom gave me video games, and she let me watch wrestling. So when I was in like in 1980, I would say I must have been six or seven. I went to Maple Leaf Gardens for the first time and I watched Hulk Hogan versus Hurricane as the main event, and. I don't remember Andre being there. I do remember that because I was so young. Mm -hmm. And this was at um, Maple Leaf Gardens. Yep. That's which is I like, too, Maple come Leaf. on, man. Yeah. Like, Classic. that's absolutely insane. Yeah. So that was the beginning. And what how that actually happened was my uncle worked for an advertising agency that did all the advertising for WWF at the time. And he was also really close to the band Rush. He did some of the album stuff and nice. like that. Love Rush. So I remember seeing them, and I think I saw Hurricane and Earthquake. They were there together. I saw... 
Grill Monsoon. He Fun was fact. announcing. The Lumberjack is part of my yeah, family. Yeah, be him and me and Gene Okerlund. One, what? One's two senses. Fun fact, the Lumberjack is part of my family. Dude, what are you talking about? Really? What Lumberjack? The natural disasters. Remember? Hurricane and earthquake. So, do you remember the one-man gang? So, the one-man gang was... I, I, I just love the noise he'd make. And he called... His finishing move was the 747, which was the front suplex. So, he'd pick them up <coughs> and then slam them down forward, the 747. And he then became... Hakeem or Hakeem after that, uh, which was like a just kind of an African to give a shout out character. To Justin. I loved him as the I one really man gang. He's actually when was a, a real show. prison guard down in Georgia. True story. Amber says, I just want to give you a shout out, Justin. I really enjoy when you're on the show. Thank you, Amber. Pleasure. Where are you from? Easy, easy. Oh, I guess Picking I up ask all that. the women. Uh, I guess I can't ask that, can I? Amber, I, yeah. I don't know where she's from the States. From I the mean, States. We, we try to keep it. To a degree, yeah, probably, I get it. You know what I mean. I'm, I'm I know, learning no, that, but I get I get excited too. I'm like, where are you from? What do you do? Blah yeah, blah blah. Cool. Where do you work? Where do you sleep? Tell me everything. Um. <sighs> some, so Washington. If Beautiful. I do that, if I do that, I'm not trying to cut you off. Okay. It's just because things are reading out. Yeah. This so if is I still do that, cool for me to see and. Darth, so. so Darth McButtface says, "Get off my wife, Justin." You don't and, have to worry about that's that. Darth. Amber and Justin yeah. watch the show together. Oh, and they're they're married. Crazy! That's awesome. I thought you were talking about him being my wife, and I was about to say I do love his hair, but the answer is no. No, no, not happening. No. Um. So, after I watched wrestling that day, it really start like it, so. I really got involved. Like I I forget was it, what which WrestleMania was at Sky Dome with. And it was it was like the big fucking one with Ultimate Warrior no, versus Hogan. No, I think Hogan. that was a SummerSlam, wasn't it? No, it was WrestleMania 11, maybe. Oh, maybe. Somebody, somebody, let me know Who's there. Who's beating Zay at what now? Jay, I have arrived. I was out buying a new Ducati <laughs> Hyper Motored. I just got back. Well, what have I missed? Okay, hey, five point zero. <laughs> hey, five o. Five o is a term for a police, right? Yep. So Black Sheep says, "Hey, five O. Who's beating Zalen now? I I don't. I think Zalen is winning with the the song, and I, he might be winning winning in terms of the memberships. And then it, I think it goes Zalen ones. Viperize, I think. The Toronto Screwjob is what happened to Jay. Jay." Have you ever masturbated to your own but in the mirror? WrestleMania 18. Yeah, it was WrestleMania 18. Okay. I, yep. I don't know why I said 11. Skip says, have you ever masturbated to your own butthole in the mirror, Jay? No. Can nope. you say you have? Uh, I'll let you answer that one. So. Well, I. why would I answer it for you? No, no, no. That no, is weird. No. Let, let's listen. That is just weird. This is where we have the punctuation talk. Are talk you smoking okay, here's, your here's, socks? When you say... Right. Let's say there's a sentence. Uh, I'm gonna help my uncle Jack off of a horse. Right. You got to be careful. Wait. What? Where you place the comma in that sentence? I'm gonna help my uncle Jack, comma, off a horse. Because if you don't put the comma there, guess what? Guess what you're helping your uncle do? I'll leave that to you. I need Doctor Sexy Coco to make love to my <laughs> round hole. I need Doctor Sexy Coco. To make love to my round hole. Okay. So let's move into this now. So okay. when I watched wrestling as a kid, it started with obviously Hulkster was like, for me personally, Hulkster was way up there, right? But Ultimate Warrior started to, to rise as well. I remember that. That's when I, I, I got into wrestling before that. And I'm talking about Andre the Giant versus Hulk Hogan. Mm -hmm. That was when I really got into it. He so now, Andre was big for the business. Like if you watch huge. Hulk Hogan now, he just says like, "You imagine being that size and like he struggled just to move properly." WrestleMania three, right? They had to bring him out in the Pontiac Silverdome. They had to bring him out in a cart because he couldn't walk the distance to the ring. You know, but he just sold himself for the business, which was shows. And did you hear the stories about how much he would drink? Oh, yeah. 
So like a, a, a regular can like this, he would go bloop. He drank 18 bloop. bottles of wine one night. 18 bottles of wine. Enraged Gecko. Benoit was ultimately responsible for what he did. Yeah, that was a that was very, very sad. Okay, uh, let's wait see. for that. Yeah. Let's wait for that. But so again, when did you guys get into wrestling? How old were you when you got into it? So I got into it when Hulk Hogan was going up against Andre. And it was just before like Ultimate Warrior and Macho Man and Elizabeth and mm -hmm. um Brett the Hitman Hart when that started to come into play, right? And once, I think once the Hulk Hogan versus Ultimate Warrior line with like Elizabeth mm -hmm. started to really kick off, and Macho Man. Oh, and you're forgetting the Georgie Animal Steel days. Remember, he was in love with Elizabeth. Do you remember that? Oh, yeah. The mm -hmm. whole, mm -hmm. you know, and Big Boss Man mm -hmm. and Sergeant Slaughter mm -hmm. and Sheik. Mm -hmm. The Iron Sheik. Iron Sheik, who passed away recently. Yeah, and, like just last year. Dude, he was just... Iron Sheik versus Hulk Hogan. That's another classic, mm -hmm. you know. He did a special on a &E. I watched it last week. Um, very, very smart for the business. Very smart for the business. Um, he actually developed a crack cocaine addiction. Did you know that? Well, I didn't know that. Yeah, the Iron Sheik. He was well, I mean, addicted it's... to crack, and his one daughter was murdered by her significant other. Well, let's get into this. Jimmy Fly Snooka. Uh-huh. The Superfly Jimmy Snooka. Yep. yep. Superfly. Love the guy. Apparently, uh, let's get into that for a second. Yes. Apparently killed. He, he yes. He killed his wife? Um, or some, what was so it? that, it, it's allegedly, uh, and I don't... And he got away with it. Yeah, I don't know enough to speak about it. I think he was uh, either very close to death or... Uh, when that whole court process happened, or there was there was a reason that he was NCR, not criminally responsible. Um, but yeah, you, it makes you wonder about you know substance abuse and also about uh, uh, CTE, so the the traumatic brain injury stuff. Uh, it happens in football players as well, so much so they've changed the helmets and stuff. But so yeah, let me just clear it up. He did, you know it's alleged that he killed his. I can't. You know. I, I'm gonna pull the old police. Uh, famous line in court um i can't speak to it because i don't have enough uh, knowledge to, to speak uh, well scott hall about. also killed some guy outside of a bar i heard that Remember that yep i heard that dude it's crazy how you know before we get into the attitude era remember that mm -hmm. i don't know if you were still watching around that time mm, i think i was gone lou albano holy mackerel awesome yeah like so let me talk about the events I went to. So after I went to the event at Maple Leaf Gardens, I went to the exhibition place mm -hmm. and I watched a parade. And in that parade, you were saying, oh, I just wish I could meet these people. Mm -hmm. During the parade, I touched the hands of three wrestlers. Who? Can you guess who they are? Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan was one of them. Really? That, yeah, that... Are you ready for this? In one parade, because it wasn't, you remember back in the day, like wrestling was huge, but the events were like very, you, I don't know how to explain it. They were massive. But if you got into these like VIP events and stuff, you sort of got to hang out with them a little bit more. So Psycho Sid. Sid Vicious. Sid Vicious. Yep. His hand was the size of your head. And he came through and he, I touched his hand. I put my hand on his and I, I'll never forget it. Looked him right in the eyes, and he went, "Hey, buddy," right in my eyes. So and I, he, another, I, hang on. I touched his hand. That happened, and then the last guy that I got to touch his hand when I was a young boy, and it meant the world to me was the Undertaker. Nice. He I, he came out of the thing. He got in this little trolley, and they're bringing him across. Holy, sh just being young and seeing Undertaker. Me, yeah, like, crazy. Stone another great guy. For the One second. Steve Austin, and I love you. Black Saw, thank you, Johnny. I appreciate it, man. I really appreciate the uh, support. He says his favorite is Steve Austin. Yeah, how could it not be? It's, guy was awesome. He's unbelievable. Yep. And here's another thing. I got into wrestling during the Attitude Era. Super nostalgic for me, says Beast. Yeah, dude. Uh, Beast, thanks for the support. I really appreciate it, man. Beast here every stream supporting. Thank you so much, man. Again, thank you to everybody that's you know, come through and supported the streams. So as um, I'm trying to think who was at that event too. This must have been 1990-something. Chris Benoit had an autopsy. CTE oh, look, was confirmed. CTE was confirmed on Chris, right. Chris, Chris, yeah, that, Chris Benoit. That's not, not surprising at all, to be honest with you. Enraged Gecko, thank you, man. Appreciate it. 
So, yeah, I got to meet, well, I didn't get to meet like one on one uh, any of the wrestlers ever, except later in life. You know what I got to hang out with? Mm-hmm. Um, Hacksaw Jim Duggan. I filmed a show up north, mm-hmm. near up where you are, up there. Mm-hmm. And, um, and what's his face? The guy, not, not Hockey Talk, man. The other guy with the guitar. Um, Jeff Jarrett. I got to hang out with Jeff Jarrett. And you could just tell Jeff Jarrett at the time hanging out with him. He's just like, fuck this. I'm so sick of it. Mm-hmm. But Jim Hacksaw Duggan meeting him after everything, you know. Oh, the, yeah, I grew the up two with by four. Yeah. So what I, you know, it's crazy. Like these wrestlers, I think they do understand what they supply to kids that don't have father figures. Oh, I think so too. So like when I was a kid, like I was saying, I didn't have a father figure. So like I'd watch wrestling almost like it was, I get to hang out with these father figures and I'm learning these lessons. And like, let's just be honest here. It's not like the lessons were like quite serious. Sometimes they would be like all about entertainment. And then sometimes you'd learn something as a kid. Hey, you think of what Hulk Hogan's famous lines were. Say your prayers, eat your vitamins, training. Like just... Those three lines that he said so many times and so many times added structure to, to kids that didn't have any structure and they wanted to be like him. You know, they saw the physique he had and everything. So it's, yeah, it's, there's, there's a value to that 100%. Now let's, let's discuss this though. When some of them would like turn heel. Gorilla, you can run, but you can't hide. Yeah. Like what's crazy about it is that when the Attitude Era came in, that's when I was really hardcore into wrestling. Like I'm Austin 316, when he came out, I saw him live. When he, he well, when they hear that glass break, mm-hmm. the fucking stadium I'm late explodes. Again. Mm-hmm. Crazy. I was Jocelyn. taking a hot shower. You're, you're fired. fired. Congratulations. You're fired, Jocelyn. Love you. Also, oh, glad your PC is working. But dude, when he would come out at the live shows, I went to one taping of Raw. And like when he came out, the place exploded. And I was, so let me just tell a side story. I was at the 1994 or 95, I forget which one, back-to-back World Series. I was there when Joe Carter hit the home run to win the World Series. Oh, that'd be awesome to see that. I was in the stadium. I was in the Sky Dome when that happened. When that happened, the Sky Dome erupted. And I'm not kidding about this. When Steve Austin came out at the events, it was the same effect. It was like, boom. And like the place shook. You know, who, who is your favorite heel? Favorite bad guy of all time. Yep. That's a tough one. What do you guys think in the chat? Favorite bad guy of all time. For, I got to say, that's difficult, Think man. about who controlled the audience, who, who pissed off the audience more than anybody. I know you have an answer for this. I do, 100%. Who pissed off the audience the most? Um... Rick Rude back in the day was pretty good. That's at mine. It. Rick Rude, I do. Okay, let me. Yeah, somebody said Rick Rude in the chat, but that's going back old school. Do you 19- remember what he did though? With, with the women, what, with the women. Okay, right? you're on it. Onto it. What did he do though? I I I kind of remember he would just like put down everybody in the audience. So he'd come in and he and right away he'd say, "Cut the music." <laughs> and then in a loud voice, he grabbed the microphone and the fans would go bananas. And one time I saw him, he leaned out. He goes, what I'd like to have right now is for all you fat, overweight, Hershey-fed heifers to keep the noise down while I take my robe off and show the ladies the <laughs> true meaning of simply ravishing. And then guess what he said? <laughs> yeah. Hit the music. And then he'd go at it. And the fans would go bananas. I, I loved it. I do remember that now. Yeah. Hilarious. They're saying, well done. Yeah. I lo- I loved it. I thought it was hilarious. We do it at work all the time to each other. Dude, cut bo- the music. Booker we'll T. Get into it. Booker T versus Stone Cold in the grocery store. Let's talk about matches really quick. What are some of your favorite matches of all time? I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with, I think, maybe Hell in the Cell. Mick Foley versus Undertaker. Buddy, you can't deny that guy's talent. Um, uh, I mean that that match is unbelievable. Yeah. Is that the one where he went through the cage? Yeah, yeah. he went through the cage yeah. by mistake. By the way, Body. didn't even plan that, yeah. and then through the ring. Crazy. Yeah. And Undertaker thought he was dead. Yeah, that Crazy. is that match right there, Hell in the Cell. That is unbelievable. Yep. Now, 
I also, I don't think a lot of people will say this is like, yeah, Ultimate Warrior versus Hulk Hogan at WrestleMania was absolutely insane as well. I do remember the first Iron Man match, which was Shawn Michaels versus Bret Hart. That one sticks out to me too, because I, I, I just remember it being incredible. Some of the late uh, ladder matches with the Hardy Boys was incredible. You can, um, you can also cannot. I mean, I'm going to date myself here, but rule out the athleticism of the British Bulldogs. Oh yeah, the he was first nuts. time I saw uh, it was the Dynamite Kid got up and and superplexed a guy off of the uh, the top turnbuckle. Like I was, it was their their physique was fascinating. Davy Boy do the press like he could uh, uh, military press somebody over his head. Like Domain, what's up, dude? Yeah, that that was impressive. Thank you, Jostler, for the uh, support there. Just making sure I didn't skip anybody here. Also, again, um, Kyrus Blade, thanks for the gifted memberships, man. Membership-wise, we're like out of control on the channel. So thank you for that. I appreciate it. See if the people agree with this one. I would say over the years, so when I started, and again, we date ourselves, <coughs> but um, I started with Gorilla Monsoon as a color commentator. I did too. But I would have to say, and, and again, because I went to the Army and... So I got away from it, but I, hands down, would be Jim Ross and uh, Jerry the King Lawler together. They fed so well oh. off each other, and some of the stuff they said were absolutely Between hilarious. Between Edge and Chris Jericho for me. Edge and Chris, Chris Jericho. I've met Chris Jericho a few times because he's Canadian. He's always hanging around. Um, I So, no, wait. I lied about something. I did meet Edge. I met Edge... At Square One Mall, Tim Hortons, at 5 in the morning. Was he a giant dude? Huge. So, yeah. let me tell this story in case anybody doesn't know about this. But, Edge used to work at a place called Backstage Pass at Square One Mall in Mississauga. I worked in that mall, and the store still existed at the time. So, everybody that worked there knew who he was. I, and this is unbelievable. So, we used to hang out and play Magic Cards until 7 in the morning. At this, like, cafe down the road from Square One Mall. And for whatever reason, we ended up getting, um, this is when the ice caps were a big deal. Remember that? Like, ice yep. caps came yep. out? So we went to go get ice caps at, like, 4.30 in the morning. And it was just three of us sitting there drinking ice caps at 4 in the morning in a Tim Hortons. And there's, like, two people working. All of a sudden, Edge shows up with two women. And it's just Edge with two women comes in at 4 in the morning. We're like, holy fuck. What the fuck? He... They had something called moon juice or something on the menu back then, didn't they? <laughs> yeah. You can't stop it. So it, it, he fucking comes in with these two women and he sits right next to us, like right in the booth there. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, they're just people too, right? So, well, I said to him. Money in the bank PPV is in Toronto in July. Domain says uh, money in the bank pay-per-views in Toronto in July. It'd be kind of cool to go and see it again, but I'm not really into all the new wrestlers. Not, you know, not as much, no. no. So, what is an ice cap? It's essentially like a frozen cold coffee, coffee drink. Yeah, cold coffee, yeah. So, we're sitting there and I go, dude, I work in the t-shirt store in the mall and everybody always brings you up and stuff. He's like, oh shit, you work at that store. I go, yeah. I go, you work at Backstage Pass. He's like, yeah, before I became a wrestler, I worked there. He's like, is uh, blah, blah, blah still working there? So, that's how him and I kind of connected. Cool. And, That's a great story. And I, we just had a discussion. I'm like, what's it feel like to come back to Mississauga after like the height that you're at? He's like, dude, he's like, it's ridiculous. Just he's like the praise I get. He's like, I don't know how to handle it. Like he's I wanted to be a wrestler, but he's like, he's like all the time. There's these like boys and teenagers and even adults and their fathers saying like, you're my favorite. And he's like, I just don't know how to handle it. So I had, uh, when I was a police officer in the major city uh, prior to moving up north, um, I actually had a coffee with Dolph Lundgren. So Ivan Drago from Rocky. He was filming a movie there. I was working the pay duty because I was on the SWAT team. So we did all the pay duties and we assisted the gun wranglers and stuff. And Dolph Lundgren was there. And I was nervous to approach him because much like you said, he's just a normal guy, right? But it was, there was just that, that opportunistic moment and he was there and I walked over and I just shook his hand and he was fascinated by the gray costume and he's yes he asked me if i was a swat guy i said absolutely and then i said uh you know probably what every other fan asked him i said how much fun was it to film rocky he goes it was great sylvester stallone was awesome they're still friends to this day and it was filmed in colorado a lot of it uh yeah in colorado said it was but he was such a nice guy 
Um, super, super, super nice guy. Okay, here's a, here's a question for the audience. What about one-liners that you remember wrestlers saying? I always personally wonder, do they script this stuff? Not all I mean, of it. the Ultimate Warrior was bananas. He would just go in there, and Vince McMahon actually said in an interview one time, this guy flies off the script. They never know what they're going to get. Have you seen the outtakes? No, I, I'd Holy love to watch it. Holy shit. I can, well, I, unfortunately, I can't show any of this on the stream because I'll get copyright strikes. Oh, is that right? Yeah, I looked into it. It so sucks that I can't show you guys this, but there's a tape of Ultimate Warrior delivering the lines, and he's being directed by Vince McMahon in the room. And he's so high yeah. off of the energy that when Vince gives him a small, like, pretend it's you and you just gave it. And I'm Vince. Right. I would be like, all right, Ultimate, can you do it a little bit more serious at this mo moment? And Ultimate Warrior's like, I can fucking do anything. Don't you fucking ask me. And then he just go into it. Yeah. But he, he stays in character. Buddy, they said they didn't even know when to cue the music sometimes because he'd just start running for the ring. Oh, he's a lunatic. Yeah, he was an absolute lunatic. lunatic. Yeah, but that's awesome. But there's some great ones here of obviously smell what the rock is cooking. Imagine how much money that made that guy and how... How Sheaves, a simple man, buzz phrase can take that business like that. For me, and I'm dating myself, I didn't really like the guy as a wrestler, but the honky tonk man back in the oh, day. Oh, he's he was amazing. He was his one liner, I'll never forget it. My brother and I loved it. We keep the clip of it. He said, My mama called me the honky tonk man because I was born up on the pool table at Joe's Bar and Grill in Memphis, Tennessee. <laughs> and I thought, did he come up with that like that one liner? I was howling. So when it comes to most of the catchphrases right like john mm. cena john cena's story is incredible he just he was sort of not i wouldn't call him a failed wrestler but he wasn't really going anywhere right and they were basically like yeah you're on your way out so one day he came out and he could rap he could make these like little raps up and he did a little rap i forget exactly how he did it but he came out and did a little rap and it rhymed and it made sense and everyone loved it so stephanie mcmahon was like you need to go in that route so Crazy. back in the day when he started to get bigger and bigger and bigger, all of those rhymes that he would make, he'd make them up on the spot. Yeah. So it's nuts. like, it's thinking, thinking about the talent it actually takes to carry 40,000 people. Or the simplicity of it. So White Lando, you're absolutely right. The, the Ric Flair, woo! I mean, you're down yeah. in Mexico drinking at the bar, and I've done that before, half in the pail, and gave the woo! And all, everybody, especially the Americans, they light it up around the pool, and you get it back, and uh, like something so What's well, uni? It's also this. It, you know, wrestling is universal. It's not just like North oh, America, oh, right? 100%. So yeah. what what helped it also with the woo, he could do that in Japan. Can you do that one more time? Woo! In yeah, Japan. Work, work on that. Somebody yeah. make a sound clip of that. I need Dr. Sexy Coco to make love to my <laughs> round hole. I need Dr. Sexy Coco to make love to my round hole. Congratulations. So, I had to play that song. I missed it. But yeah, for instance, the woo. Yeah. If you look at all the wrestlers nowadays, they they cherish him. Oh, totally. Ric Flair, right? Um, I'm trying to think of my favorite line. You know, like Ultimate Warrior would say some of the craziest shit. I saw him one time. He was talking about find the fuel for the spaceships and like veins popping out of his neck and everything. Awesome to see that. Hilarious. So you know, and also Macho Man Randy Savage with the breathing. Oh yeah. <sighs> yep. He would just. I don't know what it was as a kid. I'd look up at the TV and just see these huge dudes. Huge. Yep. And it was like it wasn't like I wanted to be them, but it was just like watching. You know, I equate it to women like watching soap operas because of yep. the drama. Yeah. You know, some people would be mad to to hear this, but wrestling essentially was the male version of a soap opera. Do you remember where it really started? To that it started when to it really steam? got. I, for me personally, it yeah, was you when. Tell me. I'll tell you when it really got steamy. Okay. Because I was like, holy shit, as a kid, when. When um, Ultimate Warrior and Macho Man and Hulk Hogan all fought over Elizabeth's love. Okay, but where did that happen? See if anybody knows where I'm going with this. Where did wrestling get an opportunity to start to um, 
uh, put some weight behind the dramatic side of it. Does anybody I, remember? Maybe when uh, Hulk Hogan and Andre the Giant would have words. Mm. A little bit there. I don't know. I'm going to date myself. See if anybody knows if they come up. Hogan turns heel. Yeah, White Lando. I remember that. Well, that was... As soon as I say it, people are going to know it for sure. Vegas? No. Miss Elizabeth? No. Everybody's giving good examples, but I'm talking about what, what, when was the opportunity. Man, that's a tough one. Well, it had to have to do with Hulk Hogan. So we we have not talked about, and again, I could be dating myself here, but we could not. We we would be remiss if we didn't talk about the opportunity that wrestling really got to, <coughs> to get into the dramatic side of things. Flair, Piper's Pit. Oh so yeah, Roddy Piper had the sideshow Piper's Pit. And then he would bring people in. I think he clocked Jimmy Snuka with a coconut in the face. Yeah, the coconut is the hit. So that's when when you started to see the interviews change from that ringside or the promotional interview to try to pump things up is when they did like a show like Piper's Pit and and he'd have them in and sit them down. And that was classic. Oh, the Andy Kaufman, Jerry Lawler thing. Uh, If you haven't seen that, that's have you seen what happened there? Yeah, I mean, I I think it's, I, I think it's still all scripted. I don't know, man. I don't know. No, I think it's one of those things. You know how the guys fool around, buddy. I don't know. I really do think it was. He slapped the eyebrows off him. No, like, I think he slapped him, but yeah. I, I think he knew it was coming. The spit from Bret Hart. Oh yeah, that was the old snap moment for sure. And you know what fueled that was Vince McMahon going behind his back. Um, oh, the screw job is unbelievable. You know, because yeah. you and I are Canadian. Yeah, yeah, you can't do stuff like that. When that that's, happened, that's man, bad data. Yeah, that is the pipe bomb. Yeah, I don't remember any, anything about a pipe bomb. Oh, there, so. yes, Andre Giant, you uh, taking off Hulk Hogan's chain and he cut him. Remember? Kind of, dude. Yeah. That one was crazy. Beetlejuice versus Artie Lang. <laughs> yeah, the Montreal screw job. Yeah, crazy. But no, it's. I, I mean, somebody's mentioning Mick Foley again. So Lumby. McGumby is Mick Foley. I mean, you watch him flying through that cage and, and the stuff that that guy did for the business. Uh, the fact that he's still walking around, he actually hosted a lot of, um, yeah, somebody else were when they're Hulk Hogan choked out that TV guest. I remember that. I think it was a British guy. And uh, he actually put the guy to sleep. The guy was sn- uh, snoring and then banged his head on the way down. They had to take him to the hospital. I think there's probably a lawsuit there. So uh, you see that stuff before. Well, let's talk about how crazy it did get. I remember, I don't know if a lot of people remember this, but when it started to get out of hand was during the Attitude Era. They wrestled inside of a grocery store, which was one of the best, coolest things I've ever seen. It was it was Austin versus, um, God, I can't think of his goddamn name right now. Uh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Uh, who was it in the grocery store? Austin and uh, Booker T. Thanks, man. So that was amazing. But do you guys remember when it was it was during Raw and Austin was at home and he had a gun and he was going to shoot his wife? Good That's Lord. It got out of hand. Do you guys remember when Austin had a gun and it was like there were shots fired at Austin's home? Brian Pillman? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I Beetle think Brian... Juice versus Artie Lang, manager Murdoch. <laughs> best gorilla yeah <laughs> that is like left field stuff man oh no pillman had the gun and he was at austin's house okay i always thought it was austin at his house pillman has a gun yeah yeah, yeah i remember that dude like pillman went to sleep one night with some pills didn't wake up can you guys believe that? Like, so many wrestlers die just from taking pain medication. You'd have to, though, to run your body like that. Holy man. Well, actually, uh, who who was it recently they talked to and they said, like, how much pain are you in all the time? He's like, I'm in pain 24-7. Yeah, just a constant state of pain. Yeah. Pillman died by pills. Yeah. His son's a wrestler now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's sad. Yeah, mankind man. getting slammed into the tax. That's what I mean. Yeah. It's uh, all that crazy stuff that... Uh, Fully did for the business. Unbelievable. Yeah, Owen Hart's death, that was brutal. Oh, uh, I was watching that live bad. when Owen Hart died. Yeah, that's... I remember being a kid watching. He's coming down, um, and they cut away. And yeah. I'm like, what the hell is going on here? 
Yeah. And then right live during the event, they're like, we've had an accident. Owen Hart's yeah, in the hospital. Yeah, it was JR. It was uh, JR, yeah. JR did it, yep. Dude, I just recently watched that footage of um, of Jerry Lawler having a heart attack. I saw that too. That's Holy alarming. Holy eh? shit. Yeah. Take care of yourselves out there because it's, yeah. You never know when it's over. You like, never know, man. All of, a, all of a sudden, the announcer next to him is like, oh, I thought Jerry was just making jokes. Yeah. Like making a snoring joke. And then he looked over at him, and Jerry's like in the microphone. He's mm-hmm. like, "Holy shit, Gold Dust, dude!" Let's talk about that. Gold Dust back in the day was such a weird character for a lot of yeah, that's, guys. That's after that's after after, me, yeah. after you like yeah. When Gold Dust showed up, he'd start touching himself sexually, and like as a kid, you're like, "What the hell is this?" And it was so weird. Hey, Jay. Hang on. I just wanted to send you well wishes. I am going Thank you, to man. my brother's birthday party. As always, I love you, bud. Thank you, Dogster, man. I hope you have a good time at your brother's party. Tell him I say uh, happy birthday. And again, thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it, man. Gorilla Pimp says Beetlejuice, thank you for that. Unbelievable. Yeah, Gold Dust was just weird, man. Yeah. Hellcat, what's going on? Yeah, the oh Mach man, man getting bit by that snake. Holy mackerel. Yeah. I remember that. Let's talk yeah. about this, man. You Vince, couldn't get away with that. Have you stuff heard about I, Vince McMahon? I did. That I, is so Yeah. So um you know, you make the mistake of, of reading some of that stuff, or I think I watched an interview or something like that. And that's, you know, it's being in law enforcement so many years, you see, you know, freaky stuff like that. And, and uh, so it's not, I, I don't even care to read it anymore. That's just a very sad, sad incident. Um, you know, yeah. for, for, especially for the people that are, that are victims of that. And that's too bad. Well, what's terrible is like Vince McMahon was... Such a father figure to me. Yeah, huge. So he was in. Hang on a sec. I hate Vince. He, he should, should be, be in jail, jail for what he did. For what well, he yeah, did. I mean, yeah, man. He's gonna get his day in court. We gotta give him that. So. Yeah, and like Razor Ramon, when he, I remember him coming out and throwing the two. Scott pick. Hall, yeah. Sad that he passed. Yeah. So. But, but I'm he glad was, he turned his he life hurting, around. Yeah. Uh. So. Living, uh, have you heard of the Haitian jailbreak? I did. Hang on. Watching that uh, kind of closely there. Use uh, the washroom. Okay, buddy. You um, can handle it. You can read it there. Yeah. So I I, ha- I have heard about it. I've been watching that situation closely. Um, that's going to be a doozy to sort out. And again, I'm just offering a, a personal opinion, not the opinion of anybody uh, in law enforcement. But somebody is going to have to step up and take the lead into there and it's it would be best suited uh, for some type of uh, international force to cut to band together to go in there and deal with the lawlessness there um it's going to be a humanitarian disaster if they're not careful you know uh as as this gets worse the situation gets worse there you're going to see infrastructure start to break down and that's when you worry about uh, disease and stuff like that so that's a very sad situation. It's a very serious situation, and, and they're going to have to deal with that. But I, you just don't see too many people jumping up to the forefront that want to go in there and deal with it. So somebody's going to have to take the uh, take the reins there. Justin, and do that. So have you heard about heard the Haiti jailbreak? So Mr. Nutt says should be a Caribbean coalition. It'd be nice if they did. Um, you know, the Dominicans... Yeah, they they talked about you know issues with the border and stuff there. I just wonder if they have uh, what we say in our job KSAs, knowledge, skills, and abilities, to be the leaders at doing it. Um, and it's it's no slight against them, but you, you you wonder about operational experience and the so the ability to lead comes from from experience, and they don't have a lot in that department. I'm not saying they're not good soldiers. Um, but if, to, you, if you want it led and done properly, I think you got to go with, with some type of bigger nation that has, uh, you know, has a little bit of experience they can go on. So it's, uh, definitely unfortunate back to the old wrestling stuff. Uh, crazy. Um, you know, with everybody that's passed, um, a lot of it, it's a hard life. And, and I'm again, so surprised that 
Hulk Hogan still with us. Uh, I, I enjoy watching him. He did Joe Rogan. I listened to that, and <laughs> one's two cents is Justin Stream now. I, I wouldn't do good. I do, Cypher, remember Dusty Rhodes. Absolutely remember that. Uh, crazy. Um, that, that's that's going back to my era of, of uh, you know, the four horsemen days and stuff. So, But, yeah, you're right. Uh, good to see the, the old timer still with us um, for sure. So um, the Haitians are fighting for their sovereignty. Uh, you know what, though? It's There's complete lawlessness there, and people are getting reluctant to send people because that mission will not be easy. Uh, not be easy, for sure. What happened? No, we're talking about two different subjects. One's about the, the problem in Haiti, and the other's uh, we're talking about wrestling. Oh, Rey Mysterio, unbelievable athlete crazy to see that and then somebody told me i'm the captain now so you got to call me the captain captain Doom. are we focused we fo we're not focusing hang on that's your department i am the dp hi guys why is this not flipping okay bird of peace hogan turned out to be quite the horrible person uh really killed the image i i struggled with when he started to have problems i struggled with that as well but what you got to remember is that imagine there was a, a hang on i broke it i broke it what'd you break broke the camera oh it'll be right back <laughs> can they still hear us yeah they can hear us yeah. hang on white lando do i say buddy a lot hey buddy i think it's a canadian thing hey buddy which one's you blew it i gotta hit that one Hang on. I don't know how to work this thing. You blew it. You blew it. You blew it. Yeah, I killed the camera, boys. I absolutely killed this camera. You want me to fire him? Shit, you're fired. Here. You're fired! Uh. Do you want me to call Josh? You might have to. What's this camera? There's just a random camera on the top here. Okay. <laughs> Somebody mentioned in the thread about their uncle being a hop, uh, a uh, cop in Haiti. Please pass along my best and be safe. So we always say in law enforcement to each other, just be safe. <coughs> Hang on. Oh, I know why. I know why. Here it comes. Oh, yeah, this is a finicky uh, camera, by the way. Well, here we go with the ghost again. Ghost in the machine. Yeah. Trying to get it fired back up here. Yeah, one sec, guys. It, uh... It seems to be having a fun time here. I should have it up right now any second here there it is it's back all right we're back are we back justin asks justin will you wrestle jay in wwe 2k absolutely i'll lock him in the steiner recliner <coughs> <laughs> Thank you, uh, Astro Zombie, for calling me out on that one. I appreciate it. Lando's on there. Avid shooter. I love it. 300 meters in your backyard. You're a lucky man. Uh, I would say be optimal at 100. Um, and that's just, I mean, if they go back at previous incidents, they, they know that a lot of it takes place within 100. If you get your, uh, if you zero for 100 and you know you're dope, out to three, you can be a surgeon. 
Uh, furthest we shot was a thousand, uh, but that was at 10 inch discs of steel. Uh, but <coughs> precision shooting inside of 500. So, somebody in the chat asked, "What's your favorite finishing moves?" Uh, moves impending doom. What is your favorite? We got 300 people here, by the way. Buddy, Keep I would say up. for. Hello Thanks, to guys. 300 people. I would say for me, yeah, the uh, it would be the uh, the 747 from the One Man Gang, or always the Superplex was impressive. Lando, you're welcome. Uh, love, love, love uh, optics. I don't know what you're shooting for, or if you care to say, or if that's going to get us in trouble online. I don't know. Um, what caliber are you are you shooting right now for distance? Um, I'm trying to think of my favorite finishing move. Smoking socks. So somebody in the chat's called smoking socks. Are you smoking your socks? People love that, by the way. I'm so some people are sending you some patches from other police departments. Cool. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Okay, my favorite finishing move of all time. The um, pile driver, the DDT by Jake the Snake. He DDT'd, I think it was Ricky Steamboat on the concrete one time. Couldn't believe it. There's another wrestler we didn't talk about was Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Unbelievable. Living legend, is that Justin's voice? Yeah, this is Justin's voice. Are you smoking your socks? 556 five, and 308. So the sniper my sniper rifle was a 308 back in the day. Now they're all up to Justin 338. Poor the Pura, a lot of them are shooting 338s. I love the 308. And Alpha Alpha Clips, Omega Alpha Omega Sin. Omega says pour your booster juice on Jason. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's don't tempt me. Don't tempt me. Not happening, folks. Yeah, but I like the five five six two Lando for sure. Awesome caliber. I like the six six two. I'm uh, sure you do. DW. That's right. That's right. No, the seven two is great too. Mm -hmm. Seven two. Put a lot on it. Actually, hang on. I'm gonna turn the mic up. So I, I just had to confirm I could do this, but I had never fired a gun ever in my life. Never even wanted to, but because I was making a short film about a serial killer and the police after a serial killer, he was like, I think you should fire a gun so you can get the feeling of it to know what it's like to be an actual police officer. So I fired, what, what, what was the gun? What was it? A Glock 9. A Glock, Glock 9 millimeter. Yeah. yeah, I could see why people enjoy shooting for sport oh yeah and stuff like that yep it's not something i would do all the time well, but don't forget we didn't get dynamic with you so you just experienced what it's like for live fire but then when you get into having to do you know reload drills and, <clears throat> and all that stuff and dynamic shooting it's yeah it's a lot of fun a lot of fun dark knight is late again you blew it troll mctrollson has one coming in oh here we go here we go so there's one thing about this camera I need to figure out, but the obviously it can't focus on two points, right? So the focus is actually locked in on you. So if, watch, if I get closer, out of focus, look at you in the image there. It must have just been set to go to the most handsome one. I don't know. Is that a setting on the camera? Or? It probably is. Right. I think it's on handsome focus right now. So I appreciate everybody tuning in. Here comes the song. Ready? Here we go. Was that like an AI voice or something? <laughs> yeah. So you can dream of Christopher. Henry oh, Christopher. Gekko, love the oh, 308. Uh, yeah, you're getting out past 800. That's pretty far, right? So. so, everyone keeps asking about the psychic. Thank you, Troll. I appreciate you, man. Yeah, I had one job. I <laughs> You blew it. Accidentally unplugged the camera while we were live, but... The psychic was here this morning. She confirmed what I, I thought was already weird. But a t apparently there's like a seven foot tall man who pops balloons. And there's an old woman and there's a boy that hangs out in the attic legitimately. So she's going to be coming on the show in the near future. I got to figure out how much it's going to cost to bring her here. She probably does it by the hour. Yeah. So she said it'll be, it's like three hours minimum. So. Right. It's probably going to cost 300 bucks or something, which in Canadian money, that's like $2 US. So 
<clears throat> Living, I love archery. Love, love, love. Dude, I'm actually really good at archery. Like a bow. I, I went to sometimes. Well, I went to one of those places and I was nailing. Boom, boom, yeah. boom. Adam W is late. Listen, buddy. You're fired. Congratulations. Canadian pesos. Cypher. How does Cypher not have a membership yet? We were gifted over two days. The last two days, we were gifted over 350 memberships. That's insane. Can you believe that? Yeah. Are, uh, Venom says, are any of you men, any of you men try rock climbing? Yeah. I'm actually going to Switzerland on Monday to uh, spend some time in the mountains. But obviously there's a little bit more snow up there in the high mountains than there is uh, in the summer. But I'm going on Monday. I'm looking forward to it. Monday night. I'm not looking My forward MO4, to the overnight what's up, flight. Dude? <clears throat> So I'm trying to come up with my favorite finisher in wrestling. DDT. I don't know. Sharpshooter for me because Justin, of Bret Hart. Yeah. Do you enjoy archery? I went to a buddy's birthday a few years back at an archery place and had a blast. I love art. You love archery, right? Yeah, love it. Living legend. Yeah. We should probably go and film some of that. Like, we, we actually, we have to. I already promised you and I have to go to a haunted house and bring our phones and we have to show them an episode soon, like within the next little bit. I got a great place we could go that we could show them that uh, would be cool as well. So, but yeah, we'll talk about it off air and uh, for sure we'll do it. Living legend. Thank you, man. Drummer is here. Drummer punk. What's up, dude? Haven't seen you for a few days. You're fired. You're fired. Okay, the tombstone from Undertaker is iconic. Yes. The reason why I like the sharpshooter is because you get to watch the wrestlers sort of in a little bit of pain. Mm -hmm. And then there's that little moment of, are they going to get out of this? And there was always that moment where like Shawn Michaels would always be in the sharpshooter. And he would always get so close to the rope. And he'd get the rope once in a while. And yeah, it always made me more excited about the match when Bret Hart was involved. Bret Hart was like technically oh the unbelievable. master of execution. Yep. He was excellence. incredible. Was the excellence of execution, I think, is what he would say. <clears throat> uh you know what was tried one time was the camel clutch. Got somebody one sec. to try it. Look here, look, listen. I'm in Tilsenberg. And next time I make beef Perfect. jerky, he'll send some to you Love guys. It. Omega Clips is in Tilsenburg. Isn't that like five minutes from us? Yeah, not far. Yeah, not far at all. Thank you, man. Omega Clips. Appreciate that, dude. Sweet chin music. I was like that because there was always this moment just before Bret, Bret Hart would do it. Mm -hmm. um, not Bret Hart. Um, Shawn Michaels. He'd always be standing in the corner and you knew. It was you see him now, though. He doesn't look well to me. Like he just his facial features look well. Off, what actually? What happened to him? What happened to his eye? Did he have yeah. a stroke or something? No, I'm trying to remember that. That's after me, but yeah, he doesn't look uh, doesn't look good. Sting, I remember Sting back in the day. Um, I don't. I like I like Sting, but he stole his whole image from the Crow, and I was like, that's just the Crow. Yep. He's just old. Oh, man, seeing. What's really scary for me is seeing all the wrestlers like really old, like seeing yeah. Bret Hart now. Yeah, he could barely walk and he's yeah. very slow and he's still like he's still going, but he's just like whoa. Uh, so Delapa says, could either of you take a chop from Walter or Gunther? Who? What's that mean? I don't know. No, I don't know who that is. Daddy, no. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Drum Punk. Mama Hoofed again. Mama Hoof's here. My mom's here. Where is she? So Mama Hoofty, that's my mom. Oh, listen to that. My sister used to train with Bret Hart nephew. Where where they train? What'd you do? Oh, my sister used to be a wrestler. And she trained with Bret Hart's uh, nephew. Yeah, yeah. I do remember that. Sweet. Hi mom. Hi mom. Who who was it? Teddy Hart? Who was Bret Hart's nephew, Mama? Kyrus Blade. Here we go. He's gifted another membership. <clears throat> Dude, the memberships yesterday was nonstop. I don't right. even know how to describe it. It was like Zaylin gifted 10, and then one's gifted 10, and then uh, uh, I forget who else. Can't remember his name. 
Thanks, Mom. My mom's like, hey, there was a famous guy with your sister. What's his name? I, I don't know. I can't remember. Yeah. Hey, I do that all the time. It so just, just so you know, you've met my mom. I have. And you know she's a drug dealer. And well, you're an officer. So what? what's the likelihood I could pay you to arrest my mother? We could talk about it. See, hear that, Mom? You're fired. Could get my mom arrested. Never. Actually, my mom, just so you guys know, sent me a photo of something that she found for me. Oh, yeah. Orphan. Sorry, Oprah, not orphan. Oh, oh, oh. What? <laughs> Oprah. Somebody last night named Oprah showed up and gifted 50 subs and left. Really? Yeah, just Oprah. Orphan Oprah showed up and gifted 50 subs. Uh, what did my mom say? One says a hundred subs. Ones, what do you mean? Every time ones comes into the chat, he makes me nervous because he's always he's on the edge. Did you eat yet? I'm hungry. Um, I ordered pizza. I mean, there's that place. We just order one. They get something delivered. We can sit here and eat pizza and do the stream. Should we order pizza, guys? You got to skip the dish. I don't have I it. Don't have I don't have it either. Well, I don't. I don't. Some Domino's or something. Bird Dominoes. You're fire. fired. Listen, here's what I say to you to Dominoes. Ready? Are you smoking your socks? Order pizza from Dominoes. Yeah, I'm saying it's pizza time. Yeah. It's pizza time. Did you watch the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles when you were a kid? No, that's after Too me. old? Yeah. Too old. Wait, he's way older than he looks. You know what I did by this week, though? I, uh... Some people may be into this for other reasons. I know people are into magic cards and stuff. I actually bought a comp a whole case of Jay's Upper Deck, two series, had ruined Upper Deck series 2 cards. A whole case. I won't tell you what I paid for it. Just say say that again. What? You ordered what? I bought a case. Of what? Upper Deck Series 2 cards. You see those boxes? That's the complete series of Star Trek... Next generation in BHS, fifty dollars. Some old guy gave it to me last. Well, time. I paid a little bit more than fifty bucks. That's for sure. But oh, I dude, I used to collect the wrestling cards like a maniac. Tops, upper deck. So I'm the... not even opening these. Uh, I'm not even opening them because they have Connor Bedard rookies in them, and I actually got an extra Bedard as well. Uh, I have yes, White Lando. I have an unopened case, so didn't even touch any of the packaging. Nothing. I have a complete case with twelve hobby boxes inside. And I know that the one-for-one one Bedard gold has not been found yet, so totally going to just leave that I case. It's actually, I'm Domino's storing it in an ammo bunker at work that is uh, fireproof and everything. Oh, shit. So, yeah. I talk shit about Dominoes and Astro Zombies work there for 13 years. Yeah, you shouldn't talk shit about Dominoes. Darth McButtface, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Uh, literacy did ruin my life. You know I can't read and write proper, right? Just so you know. That's okay. Um... Astro Zombie, man. Sorry, but... Uh, you blew it. You're fired! Nature-based, that remains to be seen, but here's what I'll tell you as well. I also have a McDavid rookie from 2015. I have a Roberto yeah, Almar rookie card. I have card. a rookie card for McDavid as well. But, uh, uh, it's already slapped. But he uh, spit in some Empire's face. He did. Yes, he what did. What an asshole. Okay, these guys are talking about pizza, now I'm getting hungry. Yes or no in the chat, yes or no, do we put pineapple on pizza? Well, let's go see if the roommate... Let's let's contact the roommate. Okay. Ready? Wait a minute. Yeah. Let's see if Josh is available here. Look, here's all the yes, no's. Mr. Awesome, you don't have to say it like that. I'm a solid yes for... Okay, here we go. Ready? Uh, we're live right now, but we're thinking about getting pizza. Are you interested? We're, we're, we're gonna. We're thinking about getting pizza. Are you interested? I just ate my dinner. Hi, Josh. Okay, you're fired. You hear that, guys? I guess we're ordering. Yeah, let's order. Now, uh, we could do something technically crazy. What? We could just stay live and just go and get it. I could just stream from my phone. Yeah. Let me uh, go, think about that. Go out into the old truck and go for a ride. I don't know if I could order from Dobox. They just opened up in town. So Serial Vapist in town here. Okay. Dude, I've ordered from there about 14,000 times. 
So here's the deal. We could go, but I don't think I could go into the restaurant without the the phone Mr. cutting Ross, out. If I, I live in New York, you don't want to know what happens. With Magic the Gathering audience. back in the late 90s, everyone They're was amazing. playing them back in middle school. So many memories. Yeah, dude. So Living Legend says I was playing Magic. So you know Tell them about my magic cards. I went off yeah. the deep end, right? You went off the deep end, yep. Says, I grew up playing magic cards in the 90s. Everybody was playing them back in middle school. So many memories. Living legend, man. You should see the collection I have right now. Would you say it's out of hand? It's a little bit out of hand. It's stupid. Yeah. It's a stupid amount. Um, so technically, yeah, I could. we could stay live here. I'm trying to think how I could do this properly. Do you want me to call Josh? No, he just ate. No, got, no, I mean to get the technicals. No, but he's got diabetes, oh, so he can barely okay. move. You're fine. Um, yeah, I think the problem would be I, we could stream, but I would not be able to see the chat from one phone. So let's just just have it delivered. I, think I don't so think... Too. Uh, just get it delivered. Well, I, I don't have skip the dishes on my phone. You don't need skip the dishes. We just go to, Domino, to Domino's. Domino's. Sure. All right. You toppers. Order. Toppers is good pizza. Do you have a toppers here? Toppers sounds like something else. You're fired. Listen. Let me look. But you don't want to get uh, our favorite? The one we had last time? I do, but I'm hungry now, and I don't want to leave. And You could always go get it. It's only five minutes Let's down the road. See the power of suggestion there? You could always go get it. Well, I'm just saying you could always go get it. Are you smoking your socks? You're going to be in jail by midnight. There's probably, like, you can get cans of moon juice there, probably, as well. I don't fucking think so. I, if anyone could get moon juice, it's just you in town. Okay. Listen, um, let's see if Dobox just flat out delivers. Okay, I'm going to go on and see where. So according to the news, there's some big asteroid coming towards. What? The there's Earth. an asteroid? Yeah, yeah where? coming towards the Earth or something. So who knows? Is it going to kill us? I don't know. Here, order now. You want to order now and you just go pick it up? So down the road. Or call them. You gotta get this pizza. We can't get Domino's. Look at this pizza. Look at it. What do you get on it? You, ha you and I had it last time. And you said this pizza is fucking incredible. You're swearing. Well, I could say one. I could say one. One swear word. So yeah, living legend. Okay, call them. Let's call them live on the stream. Call them. I don't think that's how it works. Put them on speaker. You can call them. Um. I don't think you can call and do an order. You gotta online. See, this is where I'm too old for this shit. Ugh. I'll be hiding my own Easter eggs soon. It's gonna be great. I don't know what the hell that means. <laughs> Losing it. Don't dox yourself. Well, what's that mean? Don't. Well, you gotta give them an address, so they're gonna be like, "What's your address?" You're gonna say if they it. deliver. He said I was going to go get it or something, right? Unable to find a restaurant. Listen, how about you just go there, order the pizza, come back? Do you believe this, guys? The guy's pimping me here. Well, what do you want? You want Domino's? I was okay, you know what? How about this? You order whatever you want. I was in the army. I will eat anything. Anything? Pretty much. If you're hungry, you eat it. Okay, let's let's take a poll here. We're doing a poll. Look at what midnight's gonna fire me for Christ's sakes. Justin, just go or you're fired. Yep, look. You're fired. Hear that? Listen, that's for you. You're fired. Okay, let's look it up on. Oh, uh, look at what happened. I said something. Now they're going to make a sound clip of it. <laughs> oh, that's on the soundboard. Yeah, that's hilarious. Yeah, the Canadian rations. Yee. Yeah. Now I'm getting fired by somebody else. 
the one chip challenge. Oof, that'd be a doozy. Yeah. All right, let's figure it out for real. Okay, because you're getting hungry now. I'm not hungry at all, but I know. Let's just order pizza. I know if you don't eat. I got to eat. I'll start getting hangry. Okay, you pick one. So I'm still, okay, so favorite wrestler of all time. Let's discuss this quickly. I have different ones for different things. Like Hulk Hogan for sure just because of the influence thing. He, was, he wasn't he was the greatest wrestler. You get so sick of seeing the, the leg drop, blah, blah, blah. But just overall, Hulk Hogan. A lot of people are going to say Undertaker. Yeah. Oh, he was phenomenal too. Scott Hall. Yeah. Poutine with maple syrup on pizza. What's the craziest thing you've had with maple syrup on it? Other than a woman. <laughs> now you're getting out of hand here. No, but really, what's yeah. the craziest thing you've had maple syrup on? Other than like pancakes. Because a lot of people would just say, oh, pancakes. Sausages. All they, so on sausages, flat yeah. out, right? Yeah. Yeah. I've put it on bacon yeah. and then... Uh, Sausage? It's actually good. I put it on... Um, Is there anything you won't eat on a pizza? I'll eat anything. One time I used a Boston cream donut to go down on a woman. Can you mute just for one sec? Did, did you honestly just say that on the thread? <laughs> I did. It was right next to her. Why wouldn't I use the cream inside? I can't believe you said that on the thread. Oh, I don't give a shit. But if, we, if you could say, I, I could breathe through my ears. Congratulations. <laughs> okay, mute, mute this for a minute. Okay, we're ordering a pizza. Are you calling them? Yeah, I need just we need to talk about the address and we don't want to. Okay, hang on, what, hang on, guys. Talk. It's Docs. Hang on, guys. We're live. We're back. We've we ordered, had to do it. We ordered it. By yeah. the way, sorry, I got to tell him something. Look, his mind's blown when I just told him. Did you say that on the air? No, they didn't hear that. Okay. I was telling him I banged the daughter of the girl. <laughs> That he was talking to, whatever, or something like that. Um, uh, what, listen, dox yourself while ordering a pizza with pineapple on it. You smoke your socks. Are you smoking your socks? Oh, Gothy's here. Shout out to Gothy, by the way. Gothy, I looked into this game. So you don't have a peel box? Yeah. So Gothy Senpai, Sam, Sam, Jesus Christ, I blew it. You blew it. Uh, Gothy sent me a game the other day in the uh, P.O. Box. Would cool. you like to play this as a Jap? No, it's actually a Korean uh, horror game called White Day. Sure. Why not? I'd like to. I'd actually like I to see. I haven't played a video you. game and probably since Frogger well, came out. Well, there is one game that you have to play on the show with me one time. Galaxian. No, it's um, 
It's called L.A. Noir, and the reason I want you to play it because you are an officer. And in the game, you have to look at the faces of the characters and see if they're lying. Oh. So, actually, I was going to ask you, do you have any abilities? Like, do they train police to see when people are lying? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Gothi are... says, listen, Jay, get the poo suit and pick up that pizza. No nuts. Uh, that's something I'll do in the future once I get my uh, in real life streaming kit going. Gothi. That'd actually be amazing. B says nothing. I put maple syrup on my tremendous steaks. Oh, maple syrup on a steak. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Sorry. Love you, but disagree. And then B says... Nothing beats... Is it going to read it? It's not going to read it. Nothing beats bacon and eggs doused in some Canadian maple syrup. No, that's not right. Maple syrup on bacon and eggs. Ugh. No. Um... Jay now lives people talk about in steak, 1600 now Penn steak, Avenue, Wash, D.C. Confirmed. Sea Monkey, what's going on? Donald Trump, that is not my address. Thank you, though. I appreciate it. Dude, you take raw bacon, you put it on parchment paper, right? you put brown sugar on top, 10 minutes, 10 minutes, it's blow your mind. Blow your mind. Have you ever had a pan-seared ribeye steak? Yes. Emeril Lagasse's, you, you crank the oven up to 500 degrees, then you have the burner going full steam ahead on top, you cook the steak for two minutes aside, then you put the, the pan right in the oven, and you let yeah. it sit, oh, buddy, it tastes so good, you want to slap somebody after you eat it. Okay, favorite wrestler from the first era of wrestling you got into, so we're talking up until, like, say, Hulk Hogan, Ultimate Warrior, Macho Man era, Okay, before. so... Without the classics, I mean, I was a Hulk Hogan guy for sure, but Jimmy Superfly Snuka because of really, his, yeah, as he, I loved anything with flying. My brother and I loved anything with flying. Um, it, it anything with so, so jumping really, off stuff. So what anything. you're saying is like the technicians who were in the ring, Bloody, not above on. the ring, but like you're talking about two different people here because. You know, Hulk Hogan was a not great at much, no, right? No, he was, but he the whole the package, persona, right? Yes. But if you put somebody in the ring, like I'm trying to think back to like Big Boss Man, for example. Yeah, he was a big dude. He's a big dude, so he's yeah. he never was like a high flyer. But no, Snuka no. was like, you know, and um, the Dragon, Ricky Steamboat. Yeah, those two men. When you got like as a kid, you'd watch these bigger wrestlers stay inside of the ring and yep. stay level to the ring. But then when Snooker would get in there, he was unbelievable. He's he was a top turnbuckle guy, right? Yeah, he's flying around, and it's right. It's what you yep. said. It's like when you when they got into that era, it started to get ridiculous. Yeah. Well, what is this now? Oh, Jay, you sexy man with your charm and your all and your rhythm that makes me feel like I'm in a dream. Oh, Jay, you a sexy man with your touch. You make me scram. <laughs> you making me scram. Did you when hear any of that? When I was a kid, no. I got oh. into wrestling when Sting turned into the Crow version and yeah. was fighting off the NWO. Sting just had his last match at like 64. Yeah, Sting's last match was like a couple weeks ago. So, uh, Mr. Awesome. Patrick, but... by the way, thank you. One sec. Yep. The weekend, thank you for doing that. That was, and he won it. So, what were you going to say? Uh, Mr. Awesome oh, put in there about the say. fans of the Mountie. So that the Mountie was actually one of the Rougeau brothers. So and you're going way back now. Uh, the Rougeau brothers um, were actually a tag team before. Um, was it Raymond Rougeau or Jacques Rougeau became the Mountie? But that's you're going back. That's a long way back. But that's that's cool that you remember that, Mr. Awesome, for sure. So I would say my favorite wrestler, but before. We had Macho Man, Hulk Hogan, Ultimate Warrior, that era. I I think it has to go to... It's tough to say. Do I like Macho Man more than Hulk Hogan? I mean, 
here's the question you have to ask yourself, and, and seriously, how many times did you see Hulk Hogan go to the top rope? You didn't. I'm never. so Macho Man flying elbow off the top rope all the time. <laughs> you got to give him credit for that. Gorilla Pimp, thanks, man. Oh yeah, somebody was saying earlier. Uh, he says I'm so hood, thirty on a Chevrolet. I don't know what that is. That's a rap song, I'm assuming. I showed them your brother's car. Yeah. Told them about the documentary, and cool. now they're all pumped about it. Yeah, it's gonna be fun to fun to make for sure. And you Jay's guys, lucky to have that car. Yeah, Beautiful that car, car is ridiculous. We grew up with muscle cars, though, and and my dad had three Mustangs. And then Jay went to the Mopar world and never came back. But we had uh, two 67 fastbacks. Uh, that'll mean, if anybody knows anything about Mustangs, uh, two 67 fastbacks. One was a GT390 with a four-speed, just a, in British Racing Green. Congratulations. Car. And then we had a 65 convertible. Congratulations. Car. Grew up with, uh, with muscle cars. You know what? In terms of promos... I think my favorite promo man of all time is Ultimate Warrior. Yeah. Because you would never you fucking know. never match I, the guy's energy. And you know what's amazing about those um, promos with Ultimate was also that, like, Mean Gene was, like, the actor they could play off of. Because yep. if Mean Gene acted scared, I remember this. Remember when you were a kid, you're watching Mean Gene. You just gave me deja vu. That is a, such a weird feeling. You literally triggered a thought in my brain that I haven't thought of in forever. And it was when you said about Mean Gene acting scared. He did that one time with Kamala, the Ugandan giant. Oh, the guy that had the... Fa uh, and and he had thing? this war cry music that he entered with. And I remember like Hulk Hogan fought him in a cage match and stuff. And that was... Uh, you just triggered that because I remember me and Gene being afraid of that and that freaked me out. I was still at that age where it, you got scared by stuff like that. See, I never forgot that. See, that's what's crazy about wrestling. It, it really brought you all the emotions as a kid. And Huge. I think that's why we connected to it because when Undertaker first started, obviously we know as fans were, you know... I don't even know who that is, do you? No, I don't even know. Han Solo, what's up, dude? Who is that? Matt... Diab, uh, Den, I don't even know how to say that word. Di Benedetto? Di Benedetto. But dude, what's Benedetto. crazy, guys, what's crazy is a kid, you watch these things and you know Undertaker's not real. He's not really a dead man, right? Right. But I'm at Loved that, it. I'm at that age where I'm like, I get so into it. I'm like really starting to believe some of these things. Credit has to be given to Paul Bearer too. For oh, to sell it. Paul, Paul Bearer is probably, yeah. I would say... The number one manager of all time. Very, he, yes. He fucking sold The Undertaker in a way that no one else could. Yeah. And the way he held that urn, he was the best actor. Body, facial expressions, everything. He had it down pat for sure. Dude, he sold that like you could not. He should have won an Oscar or an Emmy yeah. for that. He actually should have won an Emmy. White Lando asks about entrance music so who had it the ultimate warrior you can't deny when you heard that. wait 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 bobby heen have you oh, seen have he, you seen him lately oh, he's dead now i think but bobby the brain well, heenan no yeah. he's not dead i think so no he had like a he yeah, had buddy, throat I, think cancer. He's gone. I don't think he passed i yet. will double check but i Did think he? he's just yeah. what's up did bobby pass i think so it is a shame he's gone i I'm thought sure he is yep he died yes I didn't know that. I thought he was still alive. He was a great heel. Bobby the Brain Heenan. Yes, he did. He died back in 2017. That's crazy. He lost his voice. Yeah, he was his whole he throat was struggling cancer. at the end there. But he was a phenomenal heel. Yeah. People he was hated fucking, that guy. Yeah. I remember how many times he would double cross people. You remember he used to be a little sneaky rat. Mm -hmm. And he'd throw things in the ring oh, and yeah. grab people. That also made me wow. Motorhead as an entrance tune. Um, I mean, you go, you can go down the rabbit hole of. No, of no, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say who had the most powerful entrance. So when that it would play, people would drop to the floor and scream. Ready? Yep. Undertaker. I when that, used the bell to told. have a 1967 yeah. Buick oh, that Riviera GS. Then I got nice. diagnosed with multiple oh, you sold it. That's, and yeah, couldn't that's afford what happens, insurance. Right? Uh, I'm sorry so to hear I about your diagnosis and sorry you had to get rid of that beautiful car. Troll, man. Sorry to hear that. 
I hope everything like how's the MS going for you now? Is there a medication that is working for you? I dated a, a woman who had to uh, take these like massive needles for MS, and I was yeah. just like, "Holy shit, I can't!" Every day she'd be like, "Boom, boom, boom," yes. in her legs. It was like so difficult. I hope you're doing all right, man. Yeah, let's take a second just to say, uh, troll, we appreciate you here. And if you ever need to talk, you got a whole community here, buddy. So thank you. He says it's every two days now. Man. Yeah. Dude, she used to get these things and they were like tranquilizer things. They were like the huge thing here and a needle that was that big. And she'd have to go boom in her leg and it would go shoot into her leg. And dude, you know, she would randomly just tell me, she's like, oh, she'd just be sitting there and be like, oh, I can't feel my legs now. Like they feel like they're asleep. Yeah, and it was scary. like such pain. And I'm like, I couldn't, it was terrible. Yeah. That's 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 scary stuff for sure. So troll man, mine is more collar than old. Okay, it's not. He's not doing the hardcore one. It's crazy how you know when you go down the rabbit hole, but your health's not guaranteed. So yeah, you gotta take care of yourself for sure. Yeah, it's like um, you never know what can happen and when it can happen. But you're yeah. right. Back to the wrestling. Like you're right. The Undertaker. The the death. No, belt it's, it's the lights. Yeah. And awesome. when they started to do that in the beginning, when his light, the lights would go out and you knew who it was yeah, and you hear that bell. But do you remember in 1993, 94, they would do that, but they'd also have an electricity effect. Yeah. And it would come down and hit the tombstone. That's right. And the fucking hand came out. Yeah. I'll never forget that no. for the rest of my life. When he popped out of the fucking dirt, I exploded. With satisfaction. Body you, you awesome. Ex you explode with satisfaction. It was, I do. Um, for me, and we go off, but what you said about the hand coming out of the ground was creep show when that happened uh, at the grave. That, I'll never forget that as a kid. Scared the shit out of me. So, somebody asked about uh, tips for training at the gym. Great question. The biggest Support thing I'll tell Canadian you is, is commit to the process. Hang on, hang on. Hang on. Evan. Canadian cat dance. Support Canadian, Canadian law, enforcement. law enforcement. Nice. Thank you, Evan. Evan, thank you, man. I, as always, Evan always shows up and supports my cat. Where's the cat? She's... I don't know. I haven't seen her since you got here. Dude, so I was streaming on Horror Night. I had a light up there that was doing electricity effect. It looked like lightning. She stood there in the darkness. You couldn't see her on screen. And I'll show you it later. I go, I turn just like this. I go, oh, the cat's up there. And as I'm pointing up there, it lights up here. And she's sitting right there just going. Loving it. Scared the shit out of everybody. She was already, yeah, she already starred in our little movie we made with her, remember? Yeah, no one's really seen that. No, she did a good job. Worked perfectly. So yeah, we are doing a documentary about his brother's car. Here you go. White Landis says, where do you get the motivation to lift when you don't have any? So that's a, that's a great question. And we get through a lot of stuff with humor, but um, it's just one of those things where you got to commit to the process. And then what will happen is, it, you know, it may take a month, it may take... A little more than a month but if you stick to the process you'll start to see change <coughs> and then when you see change you'll be more motivated to do it more and it, and it becomes that you need to do that like I haven't been we had a, a, a busy week at work so I, I've missed the last couple days and it's you you start to crave it again and go, you go I got to get back into this um, but it's just a process Lando uh, commit to it and then a big thing is thank you Doug I we I get in slumps too, and I've been doing it for years. I I do get in slumps as well, but you just gotta freaking get back at it. And remember, you gotta fuel the rocket too. You gotta eat to support the Doug man. Piece. Doug just gifted two sub uh, memberships. Thank you, Doug. Great people in here. Yeah, let me just tell you something about the community that we've built here. You go to other people's shows, it's not even close to this. Yeah, but it is great. I love coming in and, and talking with No, like, what I'm groups. saying is, like, everyone's nice. There's no arguments. Everybody kind of gets to know each other. They support the show so I could do things like this and, uh, you know, buy new lights and make the show look better. Yeah, it's great. And, what um... Setup. Yeah, I can't believe you guys. Like, I honestly don't think there's a better community out there. And people are going to be like, yeah, there probably is lots of communities. Yeah, of course there's lots of communities, but... You guys are just like, especially in the Discord afterwards, play, they get together after and play games, Halo Nights, 30, 40, 50 people. Thanks, Justin, can motivate me every day, would you, buddy? 
Boy, well, Landis. Absolutely, here. brother. I, I, I'm, a, I'm a morning fitness guy because, uh, again, my motivation at the end of the workday is not great either. But I find right in the morning, have at it and get her done. Uh, but, yeah, just commit to the process and it, it, you'll be good to go for sure. I just want to say to everybody out there, uh, you're fired. Why am I fired? No, they're fired. Oh, they're fired. Holy but shit, man. Caius Blade again with five more subs. Uh, I call them subs. I mean memberships. Did Terrence get one? Who was? Nope. <laughs> Is that a running joke? If Terrence yeah. Terrence doesn't get them. They... So, I didn't say this, just to be clear, but Terrence is a black man. And Terrence kept saying that because he's black, he's not getting a membership. And I, I was Love just you, like... Terrence. Yeah, I was like, dude. So, I actually messaged Terrence because I have him on my personal Facebook. And I'm like, give me your goddamn PayPal. I'll give you the money. So you can have one. That's hilarious. He has it turned on. Bluntmore is another guy who should have one. Doesn't have it. I don't know what's going on there. Also, where the fuck is Terrence right now? Who was? Um, but yeah, the other night, like, f I'd say 300 memberships came through. He didn't get one. He's like, it's because I'm black. And we were like, oh, God. we you shut up? And um, I messaged him after the stream. I'm like, dude. So here's the actual, I'm leaking the DMs, ready? I say to Terrence, give me your PayPal, you son of a bitch. He goes, my ugly dog won't let it give it to you. <laughs> but Terrence is the type of guy I could tell if I knew him in real life, like really knew him, we'd, he'd be with us hanging out all the time. Brother, the world's a great place with great people as long as you're not an asshole. We got enough assholes in the world, we don't need any more. Raw Dakota gifted one membership, thank you. Uh, raw. Did it go to Terrence? No, it went to Bartman. What? <laughs> Who was? Poor Terrence, man. He's never going to get one. Terrence, listen, you're fired. I'll give him one. Fire. Do that. We can't give him one. Why? I'm a guest speaker. Well, I'm a guest of yours, right? No, I contacted YouTube and I'm like, why can't I give out free memberships? Well, do you hear that? That's a ghost. That's the, yeah, they're going to deliver us a pizza. That's the pizza ghost, guys. Tell me you're the police. You want it free. Yeah, no, that doesn't work like that. Doesn't work. How are you doing, brother? Good, good, sir. How are you? Good. Are you good? Oh, thanks. Ooh, a package. Hang on, guys. What's up? How are you? You good? <gasps> Thank you, brother. Have a great day. Thank you. They're here. <coughs> They're here. Hoot Wireless. Now you're saying it. Hoot Wireless. Hoot Wireless. Do you want to pull the table from over there? Oh, you ordered for pizza tonight. That's not what I ordered uh, online, but as long as it's pizza. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did you not order from Domino's? I did. Or top, what I thought was toppers, maybe. I don't know. Who cares? Wait a minute. Is that what you ordered? Yep. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is this? Get it. What do you want to do? Hoot wireless. Pull that over here. Here, let me do it. Jesus. I thought the pizza came from the wrong Don't place. Don't blame Jesus. I don't believe him. Hey, don't pocket that money, eh? I need that money. I really, really need that money. The retirement. Here we go, guys. Oh, oh, wait, now, what did I do? Oh, you almost ruined it. Let's check out the pizza live together. Napkins. We need some napkins. How's it look? Do you have a paper towel? Uh, paper towel. What do I look like? Somebody who has their head on straight? No, I, I don't have paper towel. Paper towel is for women. Guys, look what showed up. So, yeah, how much would that, how, okay, let's just be honest here, because they're going to ask this question. How much did that pizza cost? I have no idea. Just tap it. So, here's what showed up for the show. I know some of you are going to laugh at what showed up for the show. If I could open this. Holy shit. So, in some of the ghost hunting shows, they use this. Also, is this focusing proper? Of course not. Well, I guess it's 
we're in focus, right? So here's what showed up. Can you guess what that is? No, they're, they're out of focus. So what this is, hoop wireless. How do you actually turn it on? It's um, it's a cat toy ball, except it'll light up. It it'll LEDs or something. so it has LEDs. So you put it on the ground, and essentially what happens? There it is. So you guys can't really see it because of the lights, but see it in my hand. So the idea is that you leave it on the desk like this. So let's leave it. It should shut off. I know you guys can't really see it unless I cup it there. So this should shut off. Now watch, ready? Yep. You tap the desk or tap it. It'll turn back on. So let's put one, let's put one somewhere in the background here. Paul, the alien just got off work. Put one here. Hoop wireless. All right. So, so let's make sure I'm out of the way of it. So if this ball right here starts to turn on at any point, guys, they can't see it. Your hair's in the way. Let me move it. Either that or we cut your hair. You want to be in jail? So here. There we go. Mm. So now that thing's in the background. So if that, if that starts going off at any point, guys. I'm leaving. Yeah. So last night, a balloon popped on stream. You guys saw that. And then at five in the morning, a balloon popped just randomly. So let's throw. I don't. Okay, there we go. I broke it. I was about to say you broke it. I actually broke that one. Hang on. Oh, the alien. That's always a good feeling getting off work, isn't it? So, yeah, if, if anybody sees these ever go off in the background of my videos here. Lando says we need proof of life on Zelda. I don't know where she is. Above the fireplace? I don't think so. Get the treat bag, shake it, she'll come. Chris W, I don't know why, I, I try to eat clean, but there's just those one nights where you're like, I gotta get pizza. There. <coughs> All the aliens, where's the pizza from? Well, I thought it was another place that showed up with a different label on the top of reading, it's good. So. Look up there. Mm-hmm. You see that idiot? Mm -hmm. Maybe. Okay, guys. The balls are on the desk over there. That little makeshift desk. Dude, chicken wings are my kryptonite, too. So where were we with the discussion? We've got 300 people here. We have 22 new members so far. Thank you, guys. Seriously. That is absolutely insane. Hot peppers on pizza? What do you think? Hot peppers on pizza? Eh. Gaming Survivor says, how clean's your normal diet? Very clean, to be honest. Uh, off of starches and, and white sugar. Um, oh, so man. Super clean. But weekends, I, I do a freebie. I, I eat so much salad during the week that I'm like, I, I can't possibly eat more salad. Ones? What the hell, dude? We're now at 1,142. Oh, give the ghost a seizure. Dude, if, if those start to flash behind me, man. Thank you, ones. I really appreciate it. Of course, none of them went to Terrence. Who was? 
Hoop Wireless. You heard that? What? Hoop Wireless? Yeah. What are you looking at? They said put put some of the uh, the um, balls where the balloon pop. Put the balls where the balloon pop? Mm -hmm. How the fuck am I doing that? I don't know. Here. Put them up on that. Trumpet. I'll put one here. Do you hear that? Storm. Great. Here, okay. Hang on. Hoop wireless. Because they say they can't see it up on that shelf. Because you moved the camera down. Yeah, I don't know. Do cops that. have to take drug tests? Here in Canada, marijuana is legal now. And so there's no uh, drug testing or anything. It, it's funny you say that because there was big discussion about fit for duty, it's, it's called. So are you fit for duty? How do you do that when marijuana is now legal? If someone's smoking it, are they still fit for duty? So a lot of discussion about that. That's a good one. But no, no drug tests. I, I, I don't do any of that stuff. Are you smoking your socks? Mm-hmm. So no, it's uh, I don't do any of that. I'm kind of vanilla that way to be 100% joke-free and honest. I'm kind of vanilla that way. I, I do live a healthy lifestyle. I do have some demons. Well, you got a lot of Chips. Moon, moon oh, juice. Too much moon juice. Yeah, Here. but uh, but chips are my nemesis. Popcorn. Show, show them this. Love popcorn. Show them that. See if you'll take a sip of it. Me? You yeah. want me to drink this? Just have a sip. Show them what it is. Shake and enjoy sack sack grape. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. Chips is but popcorn for me just freaking kills me i could eat all if i open the bag it's over it's it's gone my twin brothers the same thing justin so does that mean police are now allowed to use weed as long as they don't come to work high well that's one two cents question that's a good question it is uh, all joking aside it is are they fit for duty so if i was a supervisor and someone came in and you have general conversation with a co-worker are they showing any signs of obvious impairment? Um, because again, like our job's a little bit different. You're carrying around weapons. Um, you're carrying around less lethal force options. So you gotta, you gotta be careful there. So if they're showing signs of impairment, they would not be considered to be fit for duty, but you're not gonna, it wouldn't be as if you'd go and administer a, a test of any kind. It would be based on observation. Okay, so can you guys see the ball? Also, movie you, popcorn nervous wreck yes so i'll put one here too something's moving over here yeah i pulled the desk so this desk is on wheels just so you know see mm. it'll move around you better start eating this pizza i'll get to it um did we miss anything here 300 people still okay so sack sack are you gonna try it it's got extra pulp. Great. Open her up. Let's try it. He's going to try a sack sack. Looks like you're destroying the pizza by yourself. Oh, yeah. I ate too much salad, Paul, during the week. Ugh. Goose Goose, Goosey Goose gifted one membership. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. There you go. Enjoy your sack sack. So you guys are going to let me know if any of the balls start lighting up behind so where me. where did this come from? Am I getting roofied here? Like, no, this Am I going to wake up in a bathtub full of ice with my kidney gone? Like, well, there's always a chance of that. But this is from, like, no frills. Bathtub full of ice, kidney gone. It's terrible, by the way. See you on the other side. It's fucking terrible. That's not too bad. Well, I enjoyed well, very it. Very well, it's pizza. Listen. Are you smoking your socks? So, guys, so there's some balls right there. There's a ball right there. There's a ball right there. So if you guys see any of that lighting up, hey, check it out. Look who it is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Look who it is. Bop, 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 bop. Oh, she's shedding. Mm-hmm. Jeez. Jesus Christ. 
Don't blame Jesus. She smells the food. So yeah, if you guys see any of that lighting, let me know immediately. That could be another thing on the Steam Deck, though. Don't blame Jesus. Yeah, I could put that in. Um, so where were we for the wrestling uh, talk here? I talked about my favorite wrestler entrance. What was your favorite entrance? I mean, it went through the eras, right? You, you can't deny the uh, I'm a real American Hulk Hogan entrance. That, oh, but yeah. Phenomenal. But then you went to the Ultimate Warrior for a while. Then you went to the Undertaker. So I, I would say I followed, definitely followed the uh, the trend there for sure. Hmm. Are you smoking your socks? Don't forget to like the stream. It helps Jay get more visibility on YouTube. Thank you, Ones. Also, shout out to Ones for sending the five memberships and Lucy Goosey. Uh, Goosey Goose, I should say, not Lucy Goosey. Lucy Goosey is like a term for a woman who's loose, mm. isn't it? Mm. Could be in your world. <laughs> Jay and Justin make my ball light up. Jay and Justin make my ball I will, light I gotta give a shout out to Rich. I do it every time I'm a guest here, so I'm just gonna throw it out there. Jay Rich, if you're Justin watching, make my ball Justin from Canada saying, hey. And so a song just played in your honor. Jay and Justin make my balls light up. Lovely. Thank you for that. Mm -hmm. How loose we talking. I'll never forget being about 13 years old. And we were talking about... Oh, guys, remember we were talking about that girl... That girl that put the N64 controller in her vagina and made it vibrate? Who was? Yeah, who was? Who was? Same girl... Her name's actually Sarah. What was your last name? Don't Anyways, who cares? So Sarah, Sarah was on the bus one time and somebody said having sex with Sarah is like throwing a hot dog down a football field. Throwing a hot dog down a hallway. Yeah. yeah. And I'll never forget that. I was like 14. And I'm like, what does that even mean? I didn't even know what it meant. Yeah, do you know any women that have used a, a video game controller to masturbate with? Are you smoking your socks? Are you smoking your socks? Catsy, jump on the pizza. Okay, I'm having one more piece and then I gotta tap out because I am disgusting. Passion, how you doing, buddy? Again, thanks for everyone that tuned in. So again... You didn't answer. What, what's your favorite entrance theme song? I told song. you, remember? I said Hulk Hogan, Real American. Oh, okay. Then when that wore off a bit, then we go to the whole Ultimate Warrior thing, and then Undertaker. Justin's going ham on the pizza. Look at people. Go ahead. Say what you want. I'm glad it's entertaining. I'm, I am. I'm no stranger to the steam line. Once the food comes Agnes out, Dolores that's it. wants to know how religious of a person you are. Very good question. Grew up Catholic, believe it or not, uh, for my mom's mother. Um, grew up Catholic. And now I would say I'm more of a science-based person than I am a religious person. Uh, however, if God's listening, I hope there's something after this. But I actually had a chance to go to Israel and was uh, in Bethlehem, right at the Church of the Nativity, the birthplace of Jesus. I was on a tour in the Middle East with the army. and Oh, yeah, you got bap there. baptized there. No. And I also went to a mass by... Pope John Paul at the Vatican City in Rome, which was just another phenomenal tour. So if you, it, it was amazing. I've heard of Dildo in Newfoundland, for sure. Have you been to Dildo in Newfoundland? Mm -mm. Been to Newfoundland, though. You're going to baptize me on the air when you get dressed up as a priest again. McFly! Think McFly, think. Mm -hmm. Hello, McFly. Wait, you don't worship Jesus? Jesus. Don't no, Mike, you do know my nickname is Jay I, of Jesus. I, of course I do. How did that come about? Because of my hair, I think. Mm -hmm. Listen, I'll come about on you guys. Congratulations. You're fired. He didn't get that one. Thank you, Paul. Appreciate you. 
just okay. a, another entertaining Saturday night. That's it's funny how we can just sit together and get along, and this is what we do. Question: mm -hmm. What do you give this pizza out of ten? First, let's show them a slice up close. I don't know where those hands have been, so you you're touching. You just touched two of them. So that's a slice, which is hard to see because of the camera lighting. I don't know. You're dropping shit. Where do you give it? Can I answer tomorrow? Yeah, when it comes out. I gotta put my toilet paper in the freezer for the night. There's no pineapple on it. No. No. Justin, ever been to. I don't know, my glasses. Minus. Where's that? Mm. It's a good handheld treat. It's good. Julie B says, are we done with wrestling? Yeah, because she doesn't want to talk about wrestling. Julie, are you asking because you don't want to talk about wrestling or you want to talk about wrestling more? Here, Julie, let's empower you. First okay. of all, we are so close to the International Women's Day, so we'll, we'll empower you. What's, what's your The question? women don't get power. Sure they do, buddy. What's your question? I'm kidding. Okay, Julie B, let's give the floor to Julie B. Yeah. What's your question? Let's start a, a conversation piece based on your question. Congratulations on being... A woman. Congratulations. What is your question, Julie? Fire it up, Julie. Let's By the way, I'm being a smart ass. I appreciate you. She's... I was sincere, Julie, when I said that, to be honest with you. He lies. No. Why? Hey, I'm originally from Israel. Glad you enjoyed it. B says he's originally from Israel. Glad you enjoyed it. I had a wonderful time there. I uh, hopefully would love to go back one day, to be honest with you. So, Julie, we're, we were talking about wrestling as a topic now. We're just talking about everything from favorite wrestlers, and we went to favorite entrance themes, favorite finishing maneuvers. So now we're giving you the floor. What, what's your next question? Could be favorite song, song that's uh, influential to you even this day. Just be creative. Just ask a question, and we'll get everybody's answers from around the world. Yeah, what he said. Congratulations. Dude, there's actually chunks of stuff in this. Yeah, there are chunks of it, stuff. Uh, it hit my lip and I'm like, did I, I thought I was choking down a big June bug or something. I would have just chewed it and kept eating. But Let's Julie, talk about no pressure. Tamagotchis? No pressure. We're waiting, Julie. I'm, Justin, kid I'm did, kidding. Did I'm Jay kidding. show you the creation I made of you and W? What's WWE 2K? What is that? Mm. I did. Oh, was that the? Yeah. What are they called? An avatar? Yeah. Yeah. That was awesome. Thank you very much for doing. That. That's funny. Glad you liked it. Hey, All right, Julie. We're waiting. Julie, it's okay. I think we put Julie on the spot. Do it, Julie. Simple Nixie question. Nixie says, "What are you currently? Wa are you currently watching WWE? I don't watch it. No, uh, <clears throat> so busy with work and stuff. And then after work, I, I, I love. I mean, I'm freaking old. I love documentaries, and I like watching. Now that I'm going to Switzerland on Monday, I'm watching mountain stuff and everything like that. So it just depends what's going. on. I love YouTube. I, I'm a f love, 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 love YouTube. I'll, I'll ba baptize you. I'm, I'm a, a Christian, Christian straight man." Straight man. So you can be baptized by um, <laughs> Quantum TV. So there's a guy in the chat named Quantum TV who wants to baptize you. Are you interested? Sure. Yes? Let's do it. He said, yeah. Ah, Biggie's Batista's PP. Julie, tell Justin to take off the zip up and show the 23-inch pythons. <laughs> Once upon a time, I was a young man. <laughs> okay. What? Guys, stop. I got a question for him. Uh, Dupus, thank you for that. I have no idea how big his PP is. Probably about a seven footer. Not you, by oh. the way. Yours is like a two footer, guaranteed. But Evan says, "How is the pizza pizza?" Tell her it's not small. It's just scared. He says, "How is how is pizza pizza?" <laughs> I see it advertised in the NHL. Do you like pizza pizza? I'd say they're on the on the bottom of the list for this cat. Dude, it's back like, in yeah. the '90s, they were up there. Yeah, not now. Too many mm -hmm. other options out there. Julie, All right, Julie, are you still here? If you were the police officer showing up to the scene, I'm about to describe, what would you do? There's a man named Quantum TV on the hood of his wife's car begging her not to leave. 
So they're outside of the car. Okay. A couple days before, he's grabbed her wrists and cut her. Okay, so hold on a sec. Fill me in a bit on this first before I answer. All right. It's so, a domestic. They, they live together? Yeah, I guess they... Is it a video? That's, that's no, there's no video to watch, but... Okay. Like, they get into a scuffle, and it's a he said, she said thing where she well, says see, that... I'm just going to hit your pause button here, because you just said to me they got into a scuffle. So if they get into a scuffle, that's an assault. So you you be careful with what you say. Well, no, his okay. His wife got, I think, a restraining order against him because okay. he was upset she was leaving. Do I got that right? Is this real or is this fictitious? It's real. Okay. So at the end, so that happened one day, and then the next day, or a couple days later, they got into another argument, and she tried tried to leave. But okay. he jumped on the hood of her car. So if, if, here we go. So there's a lot of stuff happening here. If he's, I'd have to know more about the first incident. If he was arrested or she got a restraining order, then you instantly Just have an arrest authority because he's breaching you in something. The poo suit. So he's in breach of either a restraining order or if he was arrested, he might have been released on a series he of was. conditions. Okay. So the, you instantly would have uh, an arrest authority for breaching whatever he was released upon and then if he jumps on the hood of the Who car wants? you could have anything from mischief so interfere with the lawful use of but the big thing you could also have there uh would be forcible confinement so the not allowing her to move free oh, christopher oh, christopher oh christopher so Thank Ra you, radio. radio what's up dude so somebody says just how much to get you in that poo suit says doug <laughs> they want you in it yeah I want a Lexus, and neither of those two things are happening. So. Oh, Christopher. Wireless. Would you put it half on? Mm -mm. One leg. Oh, he might do one leg. Oh, Christopher. oh, Christopher. Maybe. Look at it. I've sweat in that thing. Louisiana, biting someone is a simple case of battery. Biting someone with dentures is aggravated battery. <laughs> it's crazy. No, I'm ask uh, not that I'm saying that they're going to donate this, but... Would you put that on for two hundred dollars cash? Oh, I don't know. Right, right my now. My biggest thing uh, is I know he's going to say what happens. It's forever. It's right. going to be digital memes. forever. Believe me, in my job, I've seen some horror shows. Don't take pictures of your junk with your face in there because it's digital's forever. Uh, did you prefer army time or police? Loved both. Um, loved both, but ready to move on to different things and they can retire in a couple of years looking forward to it. then into filmmaking but had a great time in, in both been in uniform since 18 yep so uh that's a great question gaming and thank you for that so how much to put it on see george mcfly knows the internet never forgets um so, so you're worried that's going to get back to your colleagues so i don't know if i if when we had the uh when we had thanks quasi when we had the the police night on here and we were talking about police stuff i don't know if i told the story but you got to be real careful there's i investigated something one time when people go to a fancy bar yeah and the bar hires a photographer right yeah i know what you mean so they bring them together and they go hey get together and what they do is they take a picture and <clears> then <throat> it goes on to the the website let's make up a bar's name the moon juice in so the moon juice in takes pictures wouldn't the moon juice out could be they they take pictures then they put pictures on the website so people go and they go hey here's what you missed when you didn't come moon yeah, 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 on yeah. saturday yeah. night but what in uh, toronto that happens every day so what exactly and they use it as promotions but what we saw i investigated more than one of this in policing somebody right clicks copies image then they put that image into an underground society you know much like forums and stuff like this what? and they they would say does anybody know the girl on the right Move your head for a second. Move back. That way, way, way over. Move your whole body. Shit, we didn't get it. Zelda's acting weird. So for those that have kids, tell them this. Um, so wait a minute. They, they, they would take a picture. So they go on the website for the moon juice in. Right click the image. Save the image. Then they put it into the dark web or their forums. And they say, anybody know this girl on the right? And slowly, intelligence would start coming in. Oh, yeah, I think I saw her. She works a second job at oh. here. And then, eventually, on more than one time, Congratulations. I have gone and spoken to ladies that their nudes were, were found. And they were gathered by 
the, these people getting intelligence submitted to them. And one girl, she said, I took that picture that you're seeing for my boyfriend at the time five years ago. And it surfaced in the underworld just by these people gathering intelligence, which all came from the fact that she took her picture at the Moon Jews Inn. Crazy. So be careful. Well, you know, careful. Sp speaking on that, I'm, I'm, yeah, I sound like a hacker now, but if you gave me a photo of somebody, I can guarantee I could find where they are. Yeah, like all that stuff's creepy to me. And then, I mean, the whole world of, of AI stuff that's coming out is, I don't know enough about it, but I have zero desire to, to, to deal with that stuff for sure. Uh, QE, QE says, what's the moon juice that's in? That's quasi, right? Is that how you say it? Quasi? I call him QE. It's just a fictitious place. Totally fictitious. Do you hear it? So, just so you guys know, it's a stormy night here in yeah, Ontario. Weird. weird. Yeah. Was that expected? Wrestling match, Justin versus Jay. Oh, I'll be Brutus the Barber Beefcake and cut your hair with a set of head Listen, the only shot I would get is if I got one good solid shot if, to right if here. If you snuck one in. If I snuck one right here and took no, no. you out in one no, shot. No, you know what happened first? What? I'd squeeze the pimple you had on your wrist. and then you Actually, would, that yeah. was police brutality. No. And also, I there's did. a scar. Yeah, That's no. a scar now. That's I'd, a proof of... Police brutality. It's a gray on hair, you're growing. That's not a scar. That's, that's a, just a gray. That hair. is, right there. That's about one point two in my name. Right, right. So don't don't try me on the stream. Mm -hmm. You'll be in jail by midnight. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you ever uh, you ever get called to a scene where there's a bunch of wrestling fans, and oh, it, I'm they sure. got but they got rowdy and it was like, you know what? I just went into a lot of it like. Um, if you go to work and you're sick of it, I mean, I think you get sick of your job at anything, but I would just go there and have fun with people. Just just shoot the shit. I was uh, I, I used to have a very bad habit of chewing tobacco, and I went one time and a guy had a can of dip, and, and there was, it was a domestic or something, and I said, can I have a, a lipper off you? He looked at me, he was like, are you serious? I'm like, yeah. So he pulled his dip out, and I had a dip with him, and then it just brought down the whole atmosphere. So you just got to be real with people. Just be friendly. That's all you can do, right? Hey, you know what's coming up in May? 48-hour film festival. I saw them posting. Oh They're saying, how many teams are we getting this year? I, to be honest, okay, so last year, Hem and I did the 48-hour film festival with an amazing team of people, which oh, I don't think we can yeah. get back together again. Mm -hmm. um, so May, whatever it is, 22nd. Would you want to do the 48-hour again? It we depend I wouldn't on want how to do it. busy I am. With I don't that. want to do it. Yeah. We won it already. We won the whole thing. Why would I want to do it again? You attract more <clears throat> bees with honey? Absolutely. 100%. Yeah. And again, when I went to the the uh, detective office, you saw in the back room if somebody had a negative interaction with police at, uh, at a uniform level, by the time they got into the interview room with us, they were just in shutdown mode. They wanted nothing to do with us. So. Uh, uh, I right. see what you're saying. Yeah. If they have a negative mm -hmm. interaction, it's not going to go well. So. Look, here's a good one. Sweaty gaming products. Tyson is too old. Well, I don't know. Uh, that there, There's a big fight coming up online. Mike Tyson's making a comeback. They're starting to hype it right now. I don't know. I think the guy's an animal, to be honest with you. He's a very, very, I think very that fight's guy. the stupidest thing I've ever seen. Hang AI on, AI will take over the law mm -hmm. in our generation. Imagine having Robocops around. So Living Legend saying, do you think AI is going to take over the um, the law generation of our generation? Imagine having RoboCops all around us. You know us. the biggest thing that, I don't know about that, but you know the biggest thing that freaks me out about AI though is just the fact that our banking is all digital now. Like it's all, I know people and it. Oh, the cat took a massive shit. Yeah, you need to go deal with that. That is brutal. Gag right after the pizza, but I, I just worry about banking and stuff. That's my biggest fear is 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 the the banking. Holy shit! Yeah, so the threads lighten up uh, with with AI and with the Tyson fight. So it's uh, I think Tyson is, is if he commits to the training, he's going to be a beast in there for sure. So. Oof. Hoot Wireless. Hey? We got about a four footer that came out of the cat. Yep. J 
she has to break the branches off it to flush it down. Back to the old, if they start hacking bank accounts, look at the cyber attacks that are going on right now. Uh, and a lot of these places, they won't tell you the truth, but they are absolutely um, paying paying it. They're just paying the ransom. It's just cheaper. They'll just pay it to, to free up the information. So that stuff's freaky to me. It's, I don't know. I Here's just... a question. In the movie Fight Club, <clears throat> he goes around to all of these accidents that take place. And he says that, if it's cheaper to pay off all the lawsuits rather than recall all of the cars, that they would just pay off the amount of people versus how much it would cost. Yep. Is that a real thing? 100%. Wow. So a lot of these vehicles that you're seeing getting sent overseas, they're doing just that. The insurance companies are just paying for a new vehicle because it's cheaper to do that than to get the uh, get the vehicle back from overseas. Yep, wow. true story. But yeah, that, that whole cyber attack stuff's pretty creepy. Like, you know, considering you think about it like this, how much tangible cash do you keep? You know what I mean? People keep varying amounts of cash, but mostly our, uh, all of your monetary uh, back, excuse me, is in a bank. Pretty spooky. Well, yeah. Did you know in Australia, when you go to the bank, you have to tell them why you're taking the money in? stuff I, when I did you know that, that steel though? roof paid for that steel roof i went in the money was in the account and they're like yeah you got to give us five business days to get this i'm like what are you talking about oh yeah you can't the just money's in the account so i won't say who it is but an ex-girlfriend's mother went to the bank once to to do something and they were like yeah we we can't do this we have to go to all these other banks to get like a hundred thousand dollars in cash it's going to take like weeks yeah. and she's like what do you mean i want my money now and they're like it's weeks so she waited a week and she's like, well, actually I'm going to take everything out. And she took, I think it was probably around $500,000 in cash, actual cash out of the bank, walked across the street and opened a new account. It's just creepy because uh, I'm a money in pocket. Per, I like having a little bit of money around too, but then you, you worry about, you know, if there's a fire or something and you lose that tangible money, that, that that's obviously an issue, but... So, where were we on the wrestling stuff? Yeah, we, we, we're talking about so, like, yeah, favorites. Favorite wrestler of all time. Do you got one? If I had to pick, it would be Hulk Hogan. Just for, for Hulk much, Hogan? Buddy, just for how much he influenced people. Um, Terrence is here. Who was? Who was? Who was? Who was? He's still not a member, man. I tried to gift him one. How he won't even take it. I'll, I'll give him one. You can't. Terrence, listen, we're not ending the stream until you're a goddamn member. So either you let us do it or you do it yourself and I pay you back. Make it happen right now. Who so, was? Yeah, I'm sick of your bullshit. Who was? Who was? Who was? Mr. Awesome just gifted five members. Give one to Terrence. Well, we can't choose that. It's going to choose it. Watch. Here it goes. Oh, the computer does it? Yeah, it does it. He didn't get one. Who was? He still didn't get one. The computer does it? Dude, something's wrong with his account. Mr. Awesome, thank you, man. I appreciate it big time. Oh, God, Wes is here. Is that the Wes? That's not Wes Wes, is it? Which Wes do we have? This Wes right here is a maniac. I, if that's the Wes I think it is. He'll show up. He'll be, he'll be like, I'll give you $500 to, to stay until 5 in the morning. He'll stir shit up. And, uh, yeah, actually, Wes one time said, I'll give you $500 to shave your beard and pour a booster juice down your pants, and I did it. So it is Wes. That Wes is the Wes. Yeah, Terrence, do you have gifted mem oh, Somebody else gifted more. Yeah, so huge shout-out to Wes. He's a maniac. Thought we maybe see our buddy from Switzerland on here tonight, but he's not here. I'm going. I'm going there on Monday. Who was? Who was? I'm the West from Rich's channel, not the crazy West. So you're not the crazy donating West. There's two Wes's. You got to be careful, because there's a crazy West who will just be like, "Here's five hundred dollars to take off your pants and run into the backyard." Remember, digital's forever. 
Uh, Carl says poo suit goal. Um, just so, yeah, I'll just answer that one quickly. Every time Rich took off his shirt, somebody donated $50. I do the opposite of that. Anytime anybody donates $50, I put the poo suit on. Plus other suits that I'm going to have coming out soon. But yeah, I think, yeah, yesterday um, somebody made me wear the poo suit for half an hour. I forget who it was though. Lando skis. My twin brother, snowboard, but for me, skis. And then my brother just went back to skis. Wes, Wes has a nice ass. Totally agree. So you you choose Hulk Hogan. Yep. If I um, had to. Yep. Oh, wait. Evan just gifted a membership, and it did not go to Terrence. Who was? Thank you, Evan. Seriously, dude. I appreciate it. Mr. Awesome. Mr. Awesome's been gifting a ton of members, too. Thank you, man. Uh, Skyman Legacy. What's going on, man? Juicy Booch. Juicy Booch. He shows up, donates 99 cents almost every 10, 20 minutes. Boom, boom, <laughs> boom. Nice. He's hilarious. Justice for Terrence. What was this? One time I took out $10,000 Canadian from winning in Niagara. They asked me, how do I want it? I answered in pennies. She went, excuse me, I went. Just kidding. I saw a guy pay it pet traffic tickets on on YouTube. You see that he goes to the city yeah, office I saw that. there and pays it in coin. Yeah, look. Speaking of juicy booch, there he is, ninety nine cents. Boom. Troll McTrollson. I actually have a story about that. My mom, you know the bingo cards, uh, the scratch bingo. Yeah. My mom phones me one day. She goes, "I just won ten thousand dollars on my bingo card." Wow. Ten thousand dollars just look, by Julie, scratching. Julie, we gave her anxiety. Julie, I'm sorry. We didn't mean to do that. Oh shit, did we? Yeah. Do you see what you did to Julie? Well, no, I was just trying to have fun. I with you. smell all. I smell a lawsuit. Oh yeah, here we go. She might know my ex wife. <laughs> might be your ex wife. What in, other in countries hiding. have you been skiing? I just got back from skiing in Japan. That's cool. <coughs> Love to ski over there. <clears throat> Skied in Switzerland. Probably the best place was Switzerland. Oh Ju wait, Julie had a question for us too. Okay. What is it? Yeah, that's some people are already calling it what it is. Police brutality. No. Hey, I have a serious question for the thread. If Julie doesn't have a question, I do have a question for the thread, and I'm going to be sincere with this, and you guys tell me what you think. Troll, I appreciate it, dude. Juicy Boots, you're a legend as always, man. Always supporting. I love you. What do you guys think about this? What's Julie's? I had a question. What got you into cinematography? Me. Uh, no, we had made a movie before you. She's asking, met. she's asking me. Is she asking you? Okay, she you said it was a, No, you go ahead. No. What got you into cinematography, Mr. I don't know, Big just, Shot? Just, uh, again, <coughs> when, when I was young and skiing, we skied like animals, and we always thought, you know what, we'd get, I'm dating myself, but the old disc cameras. Holy and fuck. My buddy, crazy. Dead serious. Fuck. And then uh, I was a skydiver <laughs> for a long time, and I started skydiving when uh, the, the bigger digital eights came in. And then, like, look at the world action cameras now with GoPro and stuff. But to answer your question specifically, I think it is more about um, the ability to see something in your mind, recreate that in such a way that somebody else finds it uh, fascinating. That's kind of a cool concept for me. <clears throat> now, storytelling. Now, for me. Side, yeah, <clears throat> Wes, you're right. For me, the question is for both of you. Yeah, so go. What got me into filmmaking or cinematography is I always wanted to be an artist. Like growing up, I was embarrassed to be an artist. I was really good at drawing, but I let that go. I'm like, I don't give a shit about it. But there was one teacher who was like, <clears throat> I was painting something once. And they, she said to me, she goes, why do you keep winking? Like, or sorry, like, uh, what's it called? Squinting. Squinting. <clears throat> and I said, I don't know why I keep squinting. She goes, well, all good artists squint. And I said, Why? She says, because it gives you a different perspective of what you're drawing and you're looking at things rather than, say, a piece of fruit and a bowl and a vase. When you squint, you're turning them into shapes and you're not looking at them like objects. You're looking at it like it, it's a shape. And basically, you're refocusing the framing of what you're actually looking at. So she's like... To make it optimal for you. Or... For, well, to make it optimal for anybody that looks at it. I like because, that concept. 
Because if you look at the framing here of us, it's terrible framing. Justin's lower in the frame. Yeah. You know, it physically because looks I'm like further you're, away, you're further right? away. Yeah. You should be closer to me. It's terribly framed, right? But Wireless. because I because I I was doing that, she's like, you should really go down that route that road of um taking photography. So you've seen my um, macro photography. Yep. The I don't think you guys job. have seen my macro photography. Mm -hmm. I've never really shared it with you guys, but I even even my you know not to be an egomaniac, but when I look at the macro photography and I don't look at at it for like months on end, <coughs> when I look back at it, I go, I did that. Like yeah. I I'm still like blown away. Um, by my macro photography, but um. Well, here, my mackerel, my ma my mackerel, like a fucking fish. Here, I could show it very quick, cause like, I don't really. Uh, the salty thumb dot com. What's that? I don't know. You're gonna find out okay. later. You will find out later. So here, here is my Instagram. And if you go to my Instagram, which is Jay Hooft, I'll zoom in on this stuff. By the way, nobody knows this because I haven't shown it, but I am the king of birds. Look, and this is my hand. Ready? You guys keep saying birds in the chat. Just so you guys actually know, I can get birds to land on me. I am the bird king. Look at all look at all the birds oh, around. Now me. the chat's gonna light up. You're the bird king. That's gonna be on a steam look, deck or I am you know technically Jesus. I am Jesus of the birds. Look at them. Look, they keep coming back. This is a long video, but that's me feeding birds for real. But anyways. Um I don't know how I got into like cinematography if you just look at these shots. I like that place. Yeah, you like that place. I like um, that one too. But here, here's my mackerel stuff. Let me uh, load it up here for you guys. Look at these two handsome fucks. Holy, look at the guy on the right. That beard, look at the guy. Well, you know, the age is showing on this guy. Settle but... down. Okay, here's my mackerel photography, guys. Bugs. I don't know why. I absolutely love taking photos of bugs. So that bug is actually about the size of uh, a centimeter, I'd say. So there's one. Uh, here's another one that is pretty famous for me. This is a uh, jumping spider. So he's about half the size of a dime inside of a flower. <clears throat> you could see his eyes here. That's one of my other favorites. I'm not going to go through all these because who gives a shit, but that's a nice one. Yeah, here's yes. another Beautiful. example of just... I've got a very dark tone to my photography. That is a yellow jacket. Here is a grasshopper I caught on the top of a... Boot wireless. Something there. He, this is an amazing photo of two ants fighting. So you can see the claws, the eyes. This one's turning to get sort of a side attack. Uh, here is another cool bug who has this weird eyeball. I wouldn't call it an eyeball, but censored. Uh, here's a horsefly. Incredible detail on the eyes if you get close up on that one. Uh, here is shooting into a tube. There was a hornet's nest down in there. Uh, here's my favorite photo I've taken in the last five years. That is just a spider in a tube, but I mean, I think it looks incredible. And then I think... I think that's it for, you know, there's some other ones here, like this bumblebee. Come and uh, this is also another favorite of mine. Go to the next one where the bug's grabbing onto the... Yeah, he's covered in pollen there. If you there. could yeah. meet any wrestler, who would it be? I tried to get a... Um, I tried to get this shot for all day, but it's not a great one. And that's it. That is some of my mackerel stuff. So it's weird showing that, but 
No, don't be. Be proud of it. Hey, look at this. Look at this two handsome. Look at these handsome men. Corey and I? You know, me and Corey. Oh. This guy on the right, I don't know who that is. We got to cut him out, but we met Corey Feldman at the uh, Frightmare. Here's my, uh, here's me as a kid. But yeah, I don't know. Like, oh, dude, do you see this ever? It was you and I that were there. Yeah, but have you seen what I did with the videos? I can't play it on stream because it'll. Yeah, these these videos are incredible of the yeah, water. That was unbelievable Look at that. that day. Anyways, you guys get an idea of this. Um, yeah, if you want to follow me on Instagram, you could do that. Dude, check this out. Oh, Justin, I forgot to tell you. You know that. So, yeah. Sorry, I should have said, um, Jay, you should enter some wildlife competitions. Thanks, Biff. I appreciate that, man. Sorry, I should have said that they're close up of bugs. Jay ever captured and explained things on photo. Once two cents. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, saying those are good photos. I appreciate that. Um, I should have warned oh, everybody buddy. that that was bugs. There's a great question there that I living asked. I, I have to show this picture if I can find it. Okay, yeah, I know I think I know what you're talking about. Hit, so hit, 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 hang on. Hit, hang on a second. You mean mute? Yeah. I'm gonna blow your mind. Let me find it. Can you do video and mackerel? Yeah, you can do close ups and video like that too, but it's 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 much more tricky. <laughs> Just to explain how I get those photos, it's the camera that's like right over there, but to get a photo of an ant or a bee or a bumblebee that close up, you actually have to be within, you know, that distance of their face. So it is kind of tricky because sometimes you're sticking your hand inside of like a bee's nest or, you know, okay. crazy shit like that. I've got a really unbelievable picture to show okay, you. Okay, one second though. Can you send it to me on Facebook? Because I'll pull it up on screen. So I, I sent it to your messenger? Yep. Okay. Hang on. Uh, if you could meet one wrestler, says Domain. What's the one wrestler you it would meet? It would be Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan yeah. for you? Hands down. I, if I could meet one wrestler, I think honestly it would be... I think it would be Razor Ramon. I'd want to tell him how much he meant to me before really? he passed. He's incredible. That guy was in... Uh, he went out of his like a lot of people don't know the stories about Razor, but he used to he used to give his belt. You know when he was like Intercontinental Champion. Yep. He used to give his belt away almost daily. He'd give those belts away to kids with cancer. Really? Yeah, he'd go to hospitals unannounced too. He'd just show up at hospitals and give the belt away to kids that were fighting cancer. Funny. There's a lot of stories about him doing that, so I think he's... Jay, those pictures I said on FB is dope. Nate, I'll check those out. Um, ever captured anything unexplained, says Living Legend. Here Can we I go. Can that? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, so I just sent Jay a picture. Um, I'm going to tell you a true story. So I'm a huge go to the what we say the horse's mouth. I go, if you, if I have a question about being a mechanic, I like to talk to a mechanic, not somebody that's necessarily just good with cars. Dude. I like to, <coughs> so this is a true story. This is right from, so my mom worked at a department store and, and we'll keep it without docking my mom. Is that what docks or dock? doxing? So we won't dock my mother, docks my mother, but worked at a department <coughs> store in, in her retirement. Her best friend's son, was the, <laughs> her best friend's son was the store manager. And this is a true story. And you'll see the, the evidence in a minute. So they kept having internal theft at take place at the store. <coughs> uh, well, they what they thought was internal theft. So what they did is they installed a series of secret cameras that even the employees didn't know about. And the only person that would get notified if the secret camera triggered was the manager, who's my mom's best friend's son. Are we following so far? Yeah, I see the photo right now. And so, so what happens is, is his alert goes off in the middle of the night. So it was weird because normally what happens as a police officer, you'll get what's called an open signal. That's an alarm. You know it's a real entry 
if you get an open signal and then it'll, they'll say there's a, 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 a it's been tripped here west side motion and because the people move around in the store so this guy's secret camera alarm goes off just the secret camera no other uh, uh, perimeter breach so no glass breaks no doors nothing just the secret camera so he calls the alarm company and then he goes I just we have a second camera system something's going on there and the alarm company goes we didn't get anything well, he's the manager, so he goes, I got to go there and just make sure everything's good to go. Can I get police to come with? So the police come. He pulls the memory card from the camera, the secret camera, <laughs> that can be moved around, and this is the picture. So if you can you zoom in on that, Jay, and show them? It is pretty full for them. So if you just circle what they're seeing there, that is a true from the horse's mouth story. <laughs> Okay, hang on a second. So let's talk about how video is captured, right? On That's your department. Or do you want so, me to call Josh? Well, let me explain this. So the thing about something like this yep. is that that's more than likely a real person, right? Buddy, that's 2 o'clock in the morning. And if you look at this guy, you could see it almost like looks like he doesn't have an arm. Looks like he's wearing a bandolier or something of ammunition. That department store mm. was built on an old army barracks site. Well... That is creepy, so, creepy, creepy, dude. So basically, let me explain this. So how that happens okay. is because video is interlaced. So what happens is if it's at a low frame rate, it's basically painting its own frames in between the frames. This is 2 o'clock in the morning. Well, it's 2 in the morning, but it, it doesn't mean... Like, is there any other evidence from this? Like, did it move through the shot or it's just one single frame was that? I, I can't speak to that. I don't know for sure. But that is in the middle of the night. There was no other alarm that was triggered. Other I'll than tell you one thing. Camera. That right, that the eyes are fucking glowing. Yeah. The eyes are glowing. It's transparent. Can you not see those lines in the floor? Well... The thing is, though... No, that's... And, and yeah, the one arm thing. I'm telling you right now. Yeah, but now. the thing is, though, as it goes through... Wait, where's my camera on this one? Um, I am a horse's mouth guy. Like, I'm mm. the same thing. I go, you know what? I'm a believer if, if I see it myself. And this is from my mom's best friend. It was her son that was, <coughs> that was the manager. So the cops saw that when they got there. And they're like, we're out of here. <laughs> so the cops said, we're out of here. They, they looked around. They go, there's no other breaches. Uh, no perimeter breaches. No glass break. No doors. We're leaving. So you're telling me that... This guy was in there, but there was no proof of anyone being in it, around no. it. No other no alarms other. were triggered. So nothing. what's crazy is you are a police officer confirming that, saying that nothing was triggered. Nothing you know tripped. So no. creepy. That's awesome. Like, that's cool. cool. So here, see that. here's my question then. When shit like this gets reported and you are the officer showing up. Right. And you go, no one's in the fucking building, right. but you have evidence that something's in the building. How do you write that down? What's the report? Ghost in the fucking... No, I would, you would, you would got to look at it like from if an insurance company was pulling the report, right? So you would say the obvious, uh, no perimeter breach on the store, uh, no apparent damage, nothing missing. But what about that image though? It's not a police matter. So wait, you wouldn't even include that no, in the evidence? not a police matter. No. <laughs> you would say, You would say that that's not a police matter? No. Holy shit. Are you hearing this live? No. Nope. So if you went there and you saw a fucking ghost in the uh, footage, you would just say that's not a police matter. But wouldn't you have to put you, that in as evidence saying, well, we have a photo of a transparent human? Uh, well, no, I mean, if there's nothing missing, then it's, the investigation's going no farther anyways. But I'm telling you right now, like that, if I saw that, I would go, that's not a person. Because if it was a person, it would trigger another alarm. Look at it. Yeah. That, that's that's cool shit for me. So there you go. That answer, That's a good question of uh, living legend. So they also said to me, have I ever captured anything in my footage? I, was, I, I told you guys about the Cherry Hill House. So the Cherry Hill House is known as one of the most haunted locations in all of Canada. Ontario, I should say. It's in Mississauga. And when we were filming... A music video there a confederate soldier just like that appeared in the window really in a couple frames and people were like uh did you see that and we rolled the footage back there was about i'd say there was about 200 people standing in a room i was directing it so i'm the director filming the band over here and i turn the like i say cuts but i turn the camera last second 
And then I hit pause on record. And they're like, two women were like, there's something, somebody in the fucking window goofing around. So we looked back at the footage and it was just basically that. Like a Confederate soldier looking in the window. In the footage. And I still have it. I don't know where it is now. i find but. it. So out of your, how many years on, in, like in the field? 26. You never saw one weird thing in the field where you went, well, I don't know about that. I probably did, but after a while, buddy, it, honestly it all blends just mashes together. together. Like, I probably did. Um, yeah, I probably did, but it just mashes together. Can mm-hmm. I ask a question of the of the, the audience? Nope. nope. You're fired. I'm out. Got to show us sometimes, Jesus. I have to find that footage. It's like 720p in her life. Zelda is super active. 720p. Baby, what are you doing? Yeah. You see the cat acting weird behind me? What are you doing over there? Hi. Hello. Okay, I'm going to ask a question while he's playing with the cat. You guys tell me what you think. So, I'm a huge music guy. And I mean, it could just be a little slice of the music that, that grabs me that you never forget. And... Or it could be like I love these these Instagram reels when people do these mashups of these these other tunes. I find that stuff incredible. Um, it's just music speaks to it speaks for people. It speaks to people. And that's what I really like about it. We all have that song you hear and it takes you back. Yeah, to, it sounds like you're gonna a, cry. No, not yet. It takes you back to an interesting place. Congratulations. But what I thought is, what about making a Facebook group? Um, cause like a lot of times I'll send my daughter, you know, here's what's playing on the radio in my head. And I thought about making a Facebook group called the radio in my head and people could just go in there and whether they wanted to write a comment or whether they didn't want to write any comment, they just wanted to cut and paste a YouTube link so that we could all start to pull playlists, you know, with maybe songs that we haven't heard in a long time. Somebody jars your memory of a, of a cool tune from when you were in high school or something. I just think that's a real cool idea to share a love for music. Uh, what do you guys think of that? Do you think that's a good idea or am I just about, wasting my there's time? There's probably about 400 of them. You think so? Yeah. I, I just, I, I get so inspired by by little pieces of music that I thought that, like, that'd be a great idea to do that. And, and to Anytime share you and I have an idea, the idea has been out in the world for about 40 days. I'm hiding my own Easter eggs. It's over for me. Well, speaking of hiding Easter eggs, so not on Facebook. But lo- I love music. Like for people that are are in the thread, what's that one song that you hear? If you had to pick, we talked about wrestlers, but now, right now, if you had to pick one song, you're on an island and you only get one song. What is that song that you're gonna listen to? I'm I'm close between two of them, and some of you probably haven't heard it because we have a heavy American presence here. I'm going to go on a line here and I'm going to say April Wine, which is a Canadian band, April Wine, Anvil, either Roller by April Wine or Sign of the Gypsy Queen by April Wine. Oh, Julie B is now in the Red Triforce Club. I don't even know what that means, but so you Black see the, Hole Sun Buddy Soundgarden. You love see it. all the gold? Yep. That means they are a member. If it goes red, that means they've been a member for a month. Sorry to interrupt you. Amber, that absolutely one of my favorite ballads of all time, Faithfully by Journey. Incredible. Thank you, Jonathan, for the sub. A lot of good uh, lot of good picks coming up here for tunes. For those of us that were lucky enough to grow up in the 80s, what a, what a decade for music. Phenomenal. So the cat, the cat's losing it. Jay, tell your protest the hero story. Which one? Iron Maiden, yes. Hollow Notes. Yep. Motorhead. For sure. Yep. Hoop Wireless. Hoop Wireless. Cranberries, man. I can't Great believe tune. I can't I believe know. she got murdered. Funny. No, no, she didn't get murdered. Yeah, well, she got murdered. Do you know she was she had a huge property up in Peterborough? She had really? a huge cottage here in Ontario. Yep. Nate, have a good night, man. Night, Nate. Everybody has a can I just say this? Everybody we know in terms of huge uh, mega stars all live up north. Yep, Lake Joe. Steven Spielberg has a cottage up there. Lake Joe, Dan buddy. Aykroyd Phenomenal. has Phenomenal, yep. Um, the Van Halens, even though uh, Eddie's gone, he, they had one up there as well. So, Rush, um, 
Everybody. Yep. Born on the Bayou by Cle- uh, Creed's Clear- Clearwater Revival for me, Sweaty. At that The opening of that song, just the opening drone on that song of uh, Born on the Bayou, it just gets me every time. Phenomenal tune. Gives you goosebumps. Yeah, Zelda's running around like a maniac here. <clears throat> what did we get here? Motorhead Ace of Spades. RG says Motorhead Ace of Spades. Yep. Did you drink all this? I did. I did. I even ate the grapes that were inside there. You said it was terrible. Food. Oh, you could see them inside. Oh, yeah. Gelatinous jellyfish floating around. Gary Newman. Yep. Cars was a phenomenal tune. New Order. Bizarre Love Triangle. I love music like that. Uh, Journey a, Separate uh, Ways. Grew, oh, buddy. The opening synthesizer of Journey Separate Ways. Goosebumps every time. Okay, hang on a sec. Play it. <clears throat> oh, it's not going to fucking play it for me. What? Jay, remember when I took pics of Cherry House and how I lost them on the phone three months later? I caught a very eerie face on the wall. A man with a tall Victorian hat silhouette in the window and a hellhound. Dude, he's talking about Cherry Hill House. I got to take you there one day. I haven't been there. It's no. in Mississauga. Golden earring. Phenomenal. That was me. That was my boot. Gordon Lightfoot, incredible, incredible songwriter. There's some, some really good stuff coming up here. Love Hotel California. Who doesn't? Alice has been a member for one month. Thank you. She says, Justin, do you watch Ghost Adventures? I was born in the, I was born in the hospital they went to. Phelps um, Dodge Hospital episode. Yeah, Phelps I, Dodge. I, I haven't. Episode? I've I've watched intermittently. Watched little clips. I'm more of a YouTube guy. I'll go in and watch some of the scares on there. Um, but I love stuff like that. I just get a little bit sick of, did you hear that? Or the bump in the night stuff. I like it when there's, when there's substance well, to it. So I love ghost adventures. Yeah. Absolutely love ghost adventures. Huey Lewis in the news, uh, for white Lando. Um, mine would be walking on a thin line or the extended version of, um, I want a new drug. Under pressure. Great tune. Queen and David Bowie together. Phenomenal. What time is it? The power of music. Hoot Wireless. You love that, eh? Hoot Wireless. So any last thoughts on wrestling? You want any last little... I would say now, like there were some people were saying in the thread that it was, you know, it's it's hard to watch now and stuff. I, I, I'm probably old, but I like the older days of wrestling. The more I so agree. Than I like... Have you seen Logan Paul no, wrestling? No idea who that is. You know, it's like I would give Logan Paul a little bit of props because he's a maniac on the ropes. <clears throat> He'll get on the top rope and jump across the whole ring and yeah. clothesline somebody. Those guys, those guys are good. Bad company's <coughs> awesome. Yeah. But yeah, I think I think a lot of it is old, you know, era of Stone Cold Steve Austin brought it to a level that it never even went to. Body. So did, I mean, even before that, so did guys like uh, the British Bulldogs, like just the, the masters at what they did and and Bret Hart huge for sure Motley guys, Crew yep 100% you guys like karaoke no I I actually I'm gonna be honest with you it's if I have enough liquid courage in me 100% I sing in the car for crying out loud like why wouldn't I yeah sing karaoke I've seen him sing in the car he's like all by myself no, no, the latest one is a Canadian kid for you Americans uh, I'm not a huge country guy, admittedly I'm not, uh, but there's a Canadian kid, his name is Josh Ross, that's hard to say. I thought you were talking about Josh Belly Ross. Belly Jam, what's the guy's name, Belly Jam no. or Rolls? Oh, Jelly Roll, no, Jelly Rolls? Josh Ross, and he actually uh, is from a town not far from us, and his one of his tunes is called First Taste of Gone, uh, it's a great, great tune, uh, he, he went into it um in on his own he did it on his own without uh, sponsorship and they grabbed it like crazy um so josh ross first taste of gone phenomenal tune 34 members tonight guys wow my last little thing on wrestling is that i think i stopped watching at the tail end of the attitude era like when stone cold steve austin started to become more of a com- like comic yeah like when he was doing what what? And I love Stone Cold E.T. You ever see that? 
There's a guy who does Stone Cold Steve Austin's voice to a level that's like unheard of, right? Is bouncing. Beast, have a good night. Thank you. Appreciate you being here. But he does a he so he he put he put an ET mask on and he calls him he's like Stone Cold <laughs> I can't even do it. Stone Cold ET is going to whoop your ass. Yeah. No, I'm not interested. No, it's hilarious. It's hilarious. Not actual Stone Cold wearing an E.T. mask. Um, but yeah, Stone Cold E.T. is one of my last sort of favorite things about wrestling. You know, when Stone Cold Steve Austin started to have those like comedic uh, promos, it was just like, eh. Jailbreak says, don't forget to mention uh, the GOAT, Ric yeah, Flair. Yeah, you got to mention him. Phenomenal. Yeah. Yeah. We talked about it, even just his simple, whoa, how powerful that is. It's still powerful whoa. to this day. People get loaded, that's the first thing they do. And then it's like birds oh, calling, and they answer it back. Everybody starts doing it around the pool in Mexico. So I want to say thank you to everybody that watched today. We had an amazing discussion about wrestling. Got to hear some thick Canadian cop. That's you. Appreciate you. Uh, huge shout out to the people that donated the, uh, the memberships. 34 new members today, which is absolutely insane. Um, Got thank you, Beast. Always fun hanging around. Who was? Jostler, thank you. I'll be back tomorrow at 2 p.m. Bret Hart. Yep. Who wireless? Wrestling is screwed. I'm uh, I'm going to Europe Monday for a week, and then I'm on holidays for a little bit as well. But uh, hopefully see troops in a couple of weeks. It's been fun. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Are we going to get any videos with you for the rest of the month? I guess not. Yeah, it's, buddy, it's going to be a busy, busy month, so... Yeah, thanks for hanging and eating pizza. Oh, that's my sister, by the way. She says, wrestling is screwed, I would know. <laughs> yep. Thank you, sister. Appreciate you. Also, G. McFly just gifted one to Death Proof. Don't Thank you, man. Don't forget to mention the goat, Ric Flair. Again, Ric Rick, Rick Flair. Incredible. Shout out to my sister. Someday Terrence will get a membership. Look at all the uh, red Triforces. So those people have been now members for more than a month. Nice. Over a month. So thank you to everybody like Julie B, uh, Bartman, White Lando. By the way, White Lando, I'm almost out of the candies. So you're fired. Thanks for the well wishes for the trip. I'll send uh, a nice picture from the Alps in Switzerland. I'll send it to the thread to Jay. Yeah. Bartman says, hint, hint. Wrestling is screwed. I would know. Yeah, my sister wrestled for a while with like some of the Bret Hart family. for me, I shall be last. Oh, one's is the last donation of the night. He says, bow before me. I shall be the last. He was, he, last night he was the last one. Thanks for coming on again, bud. Thanks, Carl. Appreciate it. it we'll fun. see you in like a two weeks or something i'll be back at tomorrow at 2 p.m we're going to be talking about games of the year there's not many that you know i just wanted to be something positive for tomorrow mcfly thank you for the one gifted thank you mcfly tonight you've been amazing thanks dude juicy booch thank you i almost said uh oh they're doing, a, they're doing a gift spree at the end. Troll McTrollson, thank you, dude. Just gifted five. Let's see if Terrence gets any of them. It looks like... Nope. Who won? Terrence can't get one. Andrew, thank you for watching in the chat. Now look at everyone. Everyone's come to life. Jostler says, wrestling is great. It's on now. Enjoy it, man. Sega Boy, thank you, dude. Malgus, thank you. Shawn Michaels is the greatest of all time. Even losing a smile. Yeah. Mag ones. Oh, shit. Zaylin just uh, wound up. <laughs> you guys are hilarious at the end of this. It's it's like they have a fight to see who can be the last one, but I'm going to end it for real. Zaylin says no to ones, which is hilarious. Holy shit. Dude. Are you kidding me? Hey, yeah. See if Terrence gets one. Dude, what the fuck? Holy shit, dude. If Terrence doesn't get one.
Huge shout out to Troll McTrollson. Troll McTrollington. I should say his name correctly for once. He just gifted 50 members. I don't even know what that means, but thank you, Troll. So, I'll explain it like this. A membership's like five bucks. Okay. So he, you... ju he just gifted five, 50 of them. Holy Jesus. Dude, are you kidding me? Don't blame Jesus. Holy shit, dude. $250 of memberships just came through. Me and Xylan both bow down to you. Yeah. Troll just, uh... And guess what? Guess what? Terrence is not on that list. Terrence, we love you, bro. <coughs> Terrence, I swear to God, something's wrong with your account. Wow. Wrestling is still great, and it's on now. Jossler, enjoy that, man. Malgus, I agree with you. Shawn Michaels is incredible as well. Oh, Troll just got a membership himself. Taylor was gifted by Troll. No, wait. Troll had one already. Holy shit, man. Terrence, your love, brother. Yeah, Terrence. I don't know what to say. We're going to let this go through because it, they, it'll be quick here. Wow. Novelist, thank you for saying that. You know... Again, let me just be clear, that is your opinion, and I appreciate it. I don't know if I am. I'm not going to comment on that. Shout out to Rich and Justin. <clears throat> yeah, remember to enable gifts in your channel settings, because that's probably why you're not getting them. Is that Argentinian money? I mean, Troll has not done anything like let's just be clear that i don't think troll would just do that and be like yeah fake money troll has been a good supporter for a year i think so seriously troll look at me thank you so much man that's ridiculous oh viper eyes is here oh you have a new whale no, Troll McTrollson lives in Etobicoke. He's an Etobicoke boy. Him and I basically live next door to each other, I think. Do you know him? Or? I don't know him, but if I ever go back up to Etobicoke, I'm sure as shit go have a drink with him. You want to see my shirt before we go? So my shirt is a Scream anime shirt, which doesn't really say anything important here. I, I looked it up and it says something like something about the wind. But, um, yeah, Viper Eyes is here, too. Shout out to Viper Eyes, who murdered the stuff yesterday. We need more whales here. You guys are unbelievable. Troll McTrollson's at the 427 in Burninthorpe. So, oh, yeah, yeah he, I, I know exactly, without giving away exactly where you are, but... Is that Scream anime? Yes. See ya, Viper. Viper's out? Yeah, I had to sit the screen out. Back tomorrow. Take Viper, care. man. Again, thank you. Appreciate it, dude. But, uh, yeah, troll, man. Holy crap. <laughs> McFly wants you pinched. Well, McFly will be in jail by midnight if he doesn't You'll watch be in himself. Jail by midnight. No, yes, he didn't. I do, Andrew. Not tonight. We had the hot peppers instead. But I love pineapple and pizza. Leave your car keys at the door. Not this cat, mister. Mystery. Oh, Mystery. Thanks, dude. Where? How far in the list are we here? It's almost done. Yeah, yeah, okay. Jostler, thanks again, man. Listen, let's hit 10,000 members this month. I'll yeah. try gaming. Let me uh, let me look up how many members we have right now after today now. This has just been absolutely crazy. We are now at... We are at 1,209. That's crazy. 1,000... That's not even the right thing. 1,209. 1,210 now. Mr. Awesome just gave another one. Holy crap. Thank you, guys. Seriously. Mr. Awesome, thank you as well, dude. 
That's not even the real number. I don't know. I don't know if it'll go up. Those are all memberships. I've never even heard of anything like this. What did one say? One says 10K members don't tempt me. Pfft. Dude, how much would 1,000 members cost? Um, that's well, a lot of money. It's a membership. So $5, yeah. $5,000. Thanks, mystery. Um, Listen. Be good Torontonians and leave your car keys at the yeah. door. Five eleven. I'm like five eleven and a half or something like that. This has been a high support stream yet again. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. I'm getting out of here because you guys are lunatics. I appreciate you. I'll be back at two p.m. tomorrow. Troll once again, man. Huge shout out to you. Thank you for that, man. That's that's huge. Five nine for me on a good day, brother. So nothing special, Anthony, Bartman, W, um, Andrew W, John, Sneeves, Vegas. I, how do you pronounce that name? Can you say that one? Nish? Nishinitaki. Nishinitaki? Nish. Yeah, something like that. It's going yeah. too fast for me. D, Nervous Wreck, Bluntmore, Misery. Lando, have a good one. Jaws, we're going to call you Jaws. Jaw, jaw you. It's going so f fast, man. Andrew, DJ, Tommy P., Birds of Peace. Look at all the red Triforces now. Astro Zombie. Jostler. Thanks, man. Uh, ones. Huge shout out to you, buddy. Bye, Queen. Need a J fart. I, I, I'm out. There's no farts happening. Lucy Goosey. Thank you. Jeffrey. Uh, Mick G. Thanks for the support at the end there, man. Akari Genesis. Bartman. Uh, Jedi Slayer. Runinlet. Is that how you say that? Ra ra I can't pronounce that either. Can you pronounce that? Rune Inlet. Rune Inlet, right? Mike Winfield. Mike Lan uh, White Lando. I almost called you Mike Lando. Mike Lando. Terrence. Who was? I can't believe Terrence doesn't have one. Amber, huge shout out to you. Troll McTrollson just came I back again. I'm not a troll, but still I shall be the one. People don't know how to lick the 50 button. Man. Ones, ones, you got beat out there by Troll McTrollson yet again. You see? Need a J fought. <laughs> Not happening. Uh, Drummer Punk, thank you. Troll McTrollson says people don't know how to lick the 50 button. Dude, you do. Thanks, so, uh, Thanks, man. Any last words? No, have a good one. Good to see everybody. I'll send you pics from Switzerland. Juicy Booch, have fun with Eternal Darkness there. Or Eternal Darkness. Doom. I mean Doom. Thank you, Drummer I Punk. Fine, no one. Ones, you won, dude. Huge shout out to Ones. Alright, Misery Anthony. Love you guys. Have a good one, guys. Thanks, guys. Really appreciate it. We'll see you tomorrow. By the way, I'll be live tomorrow at 2 p.m. for a chill Sunday stream. See you guys there. Love you. Wilson's Hobbies, you're late. You're fired. You're fired. You're fired, Wilson. You're fired. Oh, what the fuck? Troll McTrollson. We're... It's official. Troll McTrollson just beat ones. He just beat you, buddy. We're ending it. He wins. Ones, you lost. I love you, but you lost. He won. Sorry, buddy. He's going to be pissed. Love you. And Troll, I love you, buddy. <laughs> you guys are hilarious. Uh, it looks like Mr. Awesome might be the winner tonight, but one's just said try again. You guys are ridiculous. I'm ending it. It looks like Mr. Awesome won. Love you guys. Dude, misery. Misery, what the hell's going on? Can I end the stream? For the love of God? The domain says I win? Okay, I... <laughs> you guys are too much. 
I'm ending it. It's over. It is over. Look. Oh, God. Oh, God. Can I end it now, please? For the love of... For the love of God? Are you smoking your socks? I need Dr. Sexy Coco to make love to Viper Eyes wins. I'm out of here. That's it. I, need Dr. I love you guys. See you tomorrow. To make love to my round Okay, I'm really shutting it down. You guys are out of your minds. See you at 2 tomorrow. 2 p.m. EST. Chill Sunday. Love you guys. Go play some games in the Discord together. I need Dr. Sexy Coco to make love to my round hole. I need Dr. Sexy Coco to make